yo, yo. Welcome, everybody. Uh, here we go. We are starting the first ever episode of Aim Down Sights podcast. Uh, we are still waiting for Red Dead Panda. I hope the time change didn't screw her up and she <laughs> ends up being an hour late. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I just text her, see, waiting to hear back from her. But uh, we'll, we'll, we're going to go without her. I know you see her name there, but technically she's actually not there, I guess. Uh, but uh, yeah, for our first ever episode, I had to think of somebody who could hold their own and talk as much shit as I do. And there's not many people I know who can do that. But this guy definitely can. Uh, Dirt Griggity, welcome, sir, to the first ever episode of Aim Down Sights. Man, I feel special. The first ever episode yeah. that you asked me, yes, to, sir. Ask me to be the guest, man. You guys are great. Thanks for inviting me, man. Let's have fun. You know, I know the homie Nero. He's actually, he was a guest on WBT. was like a couple years ago, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, it was pretty dope, man. Love to have you there. Also, I've been on Red Dead uh, other podcasts. Um Mm-hmm. With Elite Gaming Guru, I've been on there a few times. So yes, and of course I've been, you know, down with you and the homie Web Dave a, a, a few times. So yeah, thanks for inviting. Hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and for those of you who do not know, this is one of my co-hosts here. If you don't know him, you're gonna you're gonna get to know him. Uh, what this is a guy who just doesn't just doesn't just talk about games and not play games. This guy does both. So uh, welcome, Next Gen Nero, to the Aim Down Sites podcast. And so happy to have you, brother. Uh, tell welcome, anyone welcome. Ab- about yourself. You know a- anything that they need to know uh, about you and your your kind of gaming journey uh, as fast uh, as man. you can. Uh, I am out here fighting a good fight. Um, You know, I'm going against that Xbox tax that is this corrupted media. Um, Mm -hmm. Next Gen Nero, a.k.a. NGN, is better than IGN. Come to me for all of your reviews and all of the good stuff and gaming-related topics, man. I try to make pony guys cry every now and again. They are very sensitive, as you guys know. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm just happy to be here, man. I'm very honored to be here on this panel. And uh, like I said, shout out to Dirk. Shout out to Retri and Panda. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, Shout absolutely. So they say I'm uh, low, huh? The, yeah, they're saying you're a little low. bit low. Uh, Is anything I, I can do you, on my end? Or? That's what I'm wondering. Let me see if I... I don't know if there's anything I can do on my side. Let me see dirt. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Because on my end, I have everything turned up. Let me... This one. Uh, chat, let me, let me guys ask you, uh, how am I sounding? How is Nero sounding? Is it just in comparison to dirt? Dirt's much lower or let, let us know. Let us know, man. Let us know, chat. Let us know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You say, yeah, I say dirt, uh, volume is low. Just, just dirt. I just listened to it. Um, you guys are you louder, listen? but I don't. In my opinion, I don't sound super low. Like you can hear me, but you guys are okay. louder. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to get closer to the mic. So hopefully that helps. But yeah. I think I, I thought I sounded okay. I'm yeah, lower my than you sound guys, but good. you guys got me. But they, I can still hear. I can still hear myself. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he said, "Come on, dirt, start yelling." Yeah, they see the thing is too near. A lot of the times, like this happens on these streaming. So, like we'll all hear each other perfectly, but sometimes yeah. they they won't on the other end. So sometimes it's a little uh, deceiving. He's yeah, they're nice. saying slight slightly lower. Well, we'll try to have dirt be a little bit louder than he usually is. So hopefully that'll help you guys because I don't think I can change anything internally on his settings. Let me see. Uh, yeah. It's all good. I will make sure I speak up. Yes, he will. Absolutely. J J Tech voice. There you go. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Everybody. Yeah. uh, yeah. (laughs) Hide your daughters. (laughs) Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah. uh, The slander starts early. I want to. Yeah. I want to go to any any female in here. DM. uh, uh, I want to see you. I ain't, I ain't wanna, I ain't wanna sing unsolicited pics. I ain't wanna sing pics. Like. I got some pics to sing. Oh, got, got some D pics coming your way. Check your DMs. Check your DMs, oh, kids. Uh, hey, yo, geez. real quick, I just want to say shout out to yeah. the chat, man. Y'all going crazy already, man. Like, you just yeah. Stop. 100 percent appreciate you guys we already got 55 people in here this is this is the first ever episode we might have some technical difficulties we'll try to figure out uh any issues that we have along the way obviously i don't know what's going on with panda i'm slightly worried hopefully she's okay uh i just text her if she was alive she's not answering me i'm assuming she's okay uh but uh 
hopefully she'll show up uh, soon and we'll get her in here because she's got a lot of opinions. Um, there's a reason I picked who I picked to be part of this panel. Uh, a lot of people I respect. I saw Nero. I saw it was kind of like up and comer. I was like, all right, I, I want to get this guy. I was on I was on uh, Red Dead Panda's podcast and I was thoroughly impressed with her knowledge uh, in the industry. So I knew I've, I've known Panda was on my radar for a long time, for a good like six months before I really kind of asked her if she'd be down uh, for podcasting. And her other podcast just went down. Obviously, there was some some job stuff involving with that. That has nothing to do with me. I had, that has nothing to do with this podcast. I promise you uh, that was of their own accord. But uh, yeah, hopefully she'll show up with us tonight. But thank you guys for coming out. we got a bunch of people here. we got 56 people as far as I could tell, as long as uh, – the stream is not lying to me, uh, which we found sometimes it does do uh, boost up the numbers, <laughs> some some weird shit. So I don't know what's going on uh, with that. But uh, uh, OK, Far Q, you did talk to her recently. You spoke to her last. All right. All right. Well, we'll, we'll see what happens, man. I'm sure I'm I'm, sh- I, I'm willing to bet it's either something's going on or it might be the uh, might be the time difference. For sure. Yeah, John yeah. Peter, what's up? Speaking of people who know. Uh, or who love and know uh, Red Dead Panda. What's going on, brother? Um, so we'll just start off. We I'm going to do it very much similar, at least in the beginning, uh, how we do it with with the Gamers Council, which will be going on tomorrow, obviously, at 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. We always like to ask everyone what games they're playing, any movies and TV shows that they're interested in, because I like that stuff. I'm not, you know, I'm not just one dimensional. I also like movies and TV shows and stuff like that as well. But keep in mind, guys, if you're watching this, this is uh, this is a radar podcast. So there will be people are swearing where we can go off the handle. We can do whatever the fuck we want, basically yeah, on this God podcast. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> so you well, get your bars off. <laughs> Anyone coming onto this podcast, please feel comfortable to to be yourself and and don't you know this is just gonna be like a conversational podcast, just like me and Dave have. That's how I want it to be. That's how, that's how I like it. But uh, we'll start with you, Brigitte. Uh, sir, what have you been playing? And we'll move on to any movies or TV shows or any of that shit you've been uh, watching. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, honestly, I've just finished the game Banishers. Nice. Oh, nice. I bet a lot of people have been saying they like that, the Banishers, man. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I um, I haven't, I never heard of the game until like maybe a month ago. I saw a trailer for it. I said, wow, that looks pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. So when the game dropped, I bought it. I saw Don't Nod made it. I was like, well, Don't Nod are the same people that made, you know, uh, Life is Strange and, you know, Vampire. Right. I was like, what kind of, is this game going to be any good? And obviously they know how to tell a good story. But this game, they, they're they telling a great story. The side mission stories are incredible. The story itself is incredible. The gameplay is incredible. The graphics are pretty decent. Mm. And I finished it. I loved it thoroughly. And um, yeah, like I said, I just finished that. I'm probably going to go back to Jedi uh, Survivor to finish that because I didn't finish it last it's a great year. Game, so, man. Yeah, yeah, it is great. It is. Um, so I'm I feel like a lot that. of people have issues f- finishing that game, though. I I and, still you haven't know finished what? Survivor. I, I, don't, I don't understand why because it's not that long. I actually when it, when I when I ended how it, how long is it? Ago, Oh yeah. man, probably about. Or how long is it for you? Because I think if I because I, I get distracted easily, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, some some games take me like I, I always look at like the time to beat mm-hmm. and I never match the time to beat. I'm, it's always longer for me. So I'm just curious, Nero, like, do you know how many hours it took you to, to um, finish I can that? actually bring up right now the exact amount of hours, man. But it didn't take it, it probably took about a day and some change, which in, in the end, at the end, I was kind of shocked. I was like, wow, that's it. Like, that's the end. Uh, the ending mm-hmm. wasn't bad or anything, you know. It, it was just like, wow, I just didn't expect it to be over. I was thinking I had at least like, you know, five, six more hours uh, to go through, but it, it ended kind of abruptly, and uh, I was like, not too shabby. I, well, I got about two days and eight hours. So. Two days, okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's, most of that, most okay, that time that's is long most that, Hey, look, most of that time is yeah. walking around like, damn, this game looked good as shit. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It does look good. It's, now, I, I finished the first one. Um, yeah, I, same. What was the first one called? Um, Fallen. So Fall in order. order. Yeah. <laughs> that was like, yeah. That was, I finished that one. That so last part, she, oh, she pissed me off. But yeah. I finally got her. Um, yeah, but this one I haven't, you know, like I'm about to go back to it right now. So, yeah, that's that's what I've been playing. I haven't really been watching much TV shows. Uh, like besides Halo, I watched the first four episodes, but I haven't watched the last few, but I will soon, though. 
That's about it. Are you ta- are you talking like did you watch the are you watching the second season or are you on the, the first season? The second right season, yeah, yeah. I okay. the first All right. four episodes of season two. I yeah. haven't watched the last few, but I'll I'll probably you know, I'm gonna catch up pretty soon. But that's about it. Okay. Uh quick question with you, Dirt though, uh, on the on the Halo side, season one versus season two. Did you like season one? Or... I thought it was okay. Not great. Yeah. But it was okay. Are you feeling Are you feeling better about season two? Or do you first kind of feel the season same? Season two was fire. Yeah, I'm enjoying yeah. season two a, a little bit more so far. Yeah, I'm right. I'm right there with you. I, I definitely agree with that sentiment. I think a lot of people are f- feeling that Halo season two is so much better than season one. Uh, mm-hmm. I kind of shit on season one a little bit personally. I just didn't <laughs> like the writing, but uh, teach their own. Uh, next, next gen Nero. Uh, what have you been playing, man? I know you play like every time I turn around, you're playing a new yeah. game. Uh, yeah. That's a loaded question. That's always going to be a loaded question. I feel like every time I ask you that. Definitely, but, man. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, you? I, I've been playing the finals. I want to give a shout out to my homie Lyric in the chat, my homie Reese, Riz, Sensei. We've been, I was playing the finals season two, just launched not too long ago. That they got a new mode, a five v five mode. Um, it's pretty fun, man. I, I really enjoy that game. Um, I've been playing it middles of avium um, that game mm. motors of avium extremely mid. if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel make sure you do because I got a great review coming for that game man oh my god I'm having to force myself through that trash ass game um, mm. and I've been playing Halo Infinite man I just I don't know why that that needle just came back the other day and I just been heavy on it just having a good time man and then they just keep giving content you know uh, not a lot of companies can make a live service game Right. Mm. Not a lot of companies. No, they can't. Can, you know, not a lot of companies. Not a lot of companies can make a shooter that can last twenty years on the market. You understand Ooh, what I'm saying? No. So, you know, I, I'm just some wondering. some companies might shut the whole shit down. Some, yeah, some, some companies. Funny, you know, yeah. it's, it's only a handful of shooters that lasted that long. Exactly. And isn't it funny that they all under the, those studios? You know, and they <laughs> all under the same <laughs> company. I don't. They're know. all under the same roof. They're all under the yeah. same. You know, it's Halo, COD, uh, Doom. Man, ain't that funny? Man, right? Quake, like mm. Quake, right? Wolfenstein, <laughs> like people don't know Wolfenstein goes way back to just pixels on the way computer, back. Right? I'm yeah, about Wolfenstein, damn. We Wolf- yeah, we forget about Wolfenstein because we haven't yeah. seen it in a hot minute. Yeah, but yeah. Minute, yeah, yeah. Uh, as far as watching, I haven't really been watching too much TV since I've been, you know, moving in and getting settled in my spot. But I do right, like yeah. watching uh, uh, Dev Diaries on YouTube. Like I love watching uh, developers. Mm-hmm. Uh, just express cool. their love for games. Like I, I caught up on some of the Hellblade dev dives, and yo, the mm-hmm. amount of attention and care they're putting into that game is just amazing, man. So uh, that's wow. why I brought up the Wolfenstein going way back because I was watching the dev diary about Wolfenstein, bro. I did not know this franchise goes back so far. Uh, yeah, really, a really historic franchise. OG that shooter, man. Way, was yeah, game. real OG. Doing. Yeah, yeah. Yep. we're Doom. Yeah, that's it's yeah Doom. before Doom's time. It's crazy. So that's yeah, awesome. Good. Yeah, good, good, uh, good, good stuff right there, man. Uh, yeah, for me, it's been live service games. I've uh, been playing a lot of. Well, I always play. You know, I always play COD, Halo, uh, Fortnite, and Hell Divers. Hell Divers too, uh, not the first one. Um, so obviously, <laughs> obviously, uh, this this podcast was aimed uh, was was named accordingly because. Uh, what we do, we, all, we like shooters. So the Nero, yeah. Nero's, yeah, Nero. Right. Let, let, let me drop too. my nuts real quick. I don't yeah. do no smoke and no competitive shooter, man. We are out here, man. ADS, we out here, man. All right, yeah. I smoke on behalf. Of we will call you out, and then if I lose against you, we will not mention that. Um, except right. for Panda. Panda's like I call like she's the queen of Halo too. So she uh she will whoop your ass, dude. I'm telling you right now, that girl can. F- that girl can fucking play. Um, so, yeah, yeah she's, she's absolutely a beast. Her. I don't want no smoke with her. But everybody else? Y'all but everybody get else? Come and get some. Else. Yeah. I do. I, I do. Jedi, I will uh, I will join you guys. I know. Yeah, I know you and her play a lot of Halo together. I will definitely join you guys. I am talking to some people behind the scenes about doing, like, another, uh, like, a large game night like we did uh, not too long ago with Jay. I think, actually, I think, uh, Peter, you were part of that, too, where we were all playing was Halo together. J-Rock? Yeah, it was with Jay. Yeah, it was with Jay Rock. I know yeah, I talked to, to uh, yeah, a good, good guy right there. Uh, we talked to Black Viking about doing something like that as well. So we'll definitely get all those guys. We'll just try to get a bunch of community guys together so we can have a huge, huge amount of do some big team battle or just we usually just do private matches so that way we can 
shit on each other essentially and we can talk and, trash. You know, now you still get XP for private matches, which is awesome. So yeah, that's right. Yeah, battle. right. Because the last up, because that update. Oh my God. Can we, can we just get three four three their flowers for just knowing yeah. how to service games correct? Right. Can yeah. We, like man, you know. They didn't come out the gate swinging, but they did later, bro. Like, it, they turn that it, Pierre turned that around. Like, yeah, in, in my opinion, since season three, Halo has been pretty damn good, yeah. and we got some and more you know, content coming up soon too. Go ahead, you know, going back to what Nero said, it's not that easy to make a. It's not game, man. a successful game that's with with consistent content. Right, man. Releasing. It's not easy, man. <laughs> Everybody can't do it, right? Every, every, That's not respect. everybody yeah. can't do it. My As bro. a matter of fact, dirt. Not some AAA studios can't even handle that shit. Mm. AA studios are doing better than some of these AAA studios out here. I mean, I'll I'll mm. even give props where props are due. The you know, the Shout guys the hell making mm. hell divers exactly. That's Nero hell, reading bro. my mind. That's hey, you. I guess you don't you don't need three hundred million. To make it work. Who knew? Yeah, Crazy. And I hope more studios learn this, man, because it's not the money that make great games. It's the passion. If you're not starting a project yeah. with passion and love, you get shit like Aviism, uh, Immortal of Avium and, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Ratchet and Clank. You, you just get, you know, watered down. Just. Oh, uh, come on. I like Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> I might be the only one in the in this room. I might I might have just outed myself. Probably shouldn't have said that out loud. I mean, it's uh, cute. If you like, I like it. I like it. Her and stuff. I guess. Like, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not no psychonauts. You feel what I'm saying? Right. No, no. Yeah. No. Absolutely not. Hundred percent. Yeah. Peter saying. Uh, Jedi Peter saying. Pierre has done a great job since being at the helm. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Like absolutely, he's just man. he. Turn it around. Pa passion, you know, passion will drive people. And I think I think he's one of those guys you can tell he's just he's got the passion for it. Mm -hmm. And that reflects on everyone around you. So, you know, happy yeah. that he uh, is turning around for Halo, uh, which we, we, we're like hearing a rumor that they're working on another campaign. Yeah, I hope so. so look, I, I, I don't want to drag this out too much, but I, I just want to ask yeah, you, guys, right, because, you know, with the rumors of and chat, please add your two cents in. Right. With the rumors of Halo switching to Unreal Engine 5, right? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking let Halo Infinite be infinite and just keep that as the multiplayer thing going forward with mm -hmm. the Slipknot engine or Slips, whatever the name of that engine with is, slip, right? Yeah. Yeah, the keep that space, going. Yeah. And, the and then every campaign from now on, make that UE5. I'm okay hey, with no, that. I actually that's really possible, like that. Bro. That's, that's, it's that's very, possible. it's yeah. absolutely possible because all they have to do from the menu is just have it, you know, have a different launcher go into like that is 100%. As a matter of fact, a lot of games already use multiple engines just on the UI right in front of your face. So it's not, it's not a crazy thought. I remember talking about this years ago with people when the uh, Unreal Engine rumors popped up. I said, why can't they do both? Why not both? Like, yeah. there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. So I'm right there with you, Nero. Hopefully, maybe they'll do something like that. I think it'd be interesting. Uh, hopefully, it'll be optimized because we know how <laughs> we're just talking right. about Nero, that Nero yeah, too. Yeah. Uh, hey, every Ooh, time you hear right. UE5, you're <laughs> like, uh-oh. Fan gaming, man. The biggest disappointment so far. And, yeah. Uh, I know that's going to be There's not a lot of games you can point at that are good in that engine outside it's of, like, really Fortnite, not. Remnant 2. And, I and can't even, really think even, of many. <laughs> I love Remnant too. I mean, it's not like it's something you know, super. You know, like no, like graphically, it's not. I, I was just talking about that. It's not. That's a not walking horrible. fucking mess of a game, right, essentially. Right, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I the bar has been set so low that at this point, I'm just like, oh, okay. Am I getting all my frames? It, or is okay, it hold popping up. like crazy? Like Robocop. Like, Robocop. Shout yes, out to they, they, that's, that's the other Robocop. one. Yeah. Robocop. Is, hey, God, yo, that's a great game. That's a man. very I, I, good yeah, example. A I honestly, is. I'm actually playing it right now. Uh, I honestly, yeah. look, like no bias. I honestly think Robocop is a better game than Last of Us Part Two. Mm. That's just me. That's oh. just me. That's just me. You know I'm I saying? don't. Emotion? I don't listen. Look. <laughs> I don't hate that. Listen, I got all <laughs> kinds of hate for that game. Part one, great. Part two, doo doo. Uh, so RoboCop, uh, yeah, and shout out to Adidas who who actually gifted me RoboCop, man. We were just talking about it. And he just fucking, I just look at my shit, yeah, and all of a sudden homie, I got man. the game. Yeah, Adidas, good guy right there. Shout uh, out to just sending me pictures. I don't know if he's on a vacation again, but yeah, he's just he's sending me pictures on, from on somewhere. Vacation, yeah. Okay, all right. 
so if I didn't, I didn't respond to you right away, Adidas. That's why, because I was I was doing this show. But yeah, I saw, I saw the pictures, brother. I'll definitely uh, respond to you soon. But yeah, I think uh, I think I think things are moving in the right direction for for Halo. Uh, definitely, man. Firing on all cylinders, and definitely shout out to Robocop. That that's the other one. I was like, I know there's a third. What the, I'm yeah. freaking playing it, and I already forgot it. Hey, that's a great uh, game. I yeah, hundred hundred percent. Uh super underrated, man. Super yeah, underrated yeah, that game. You know what? That that game that. made me go watch the movies. And I yeah. never watched the movies before. I, oh, you never oh Nero. Never yeah, that's right. That's right. See, Nero's a young gun right yeah, here. Yeah, See, yeah. we got we got some different what's that's another thing too. When when, when I wanted I wanted to start a podcast years ago, and one of my very first ideas was to get uh it was gonna be called Xbox Generations, and I purposely I was going to be the old guy in it, and it was going to be uh, someone in their 20s and their 30s and their 40s all talking about gaming to get different perspectives, you know, different ideas and stuff. So we've got Nero here representing the young guns. Uh, Definitely, man. Shout out to you, Nero, for going back and watching Robocop. That's not that's an old movie. Man. I was like, so, man, how did I miss this, man? Like the, the scene when, when when he died initially in the first movie. Yeah. I was like, I was that's like, <laughs> rough, dude. I was like, that's almost as bad as Joel and last was too with the golf. I'm like, yo, he got uh-huh. over yeah. The golf club. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it. Yet. All right. All right, let's let's get started. We'll get started on our uh first topic if the internet allows me to click on this. Uh I, I wanted to go into the 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 topic uh, of the IGN Peter Moore interview. Uh the headline for this from IGN was Microsoft will be debating right now whether Xbox consoles have a future says Peter Moore. So I'm just going to go over just some highlights of this and got, kind of get, you know, gauge what you guys think about what Peter had to say. Uh, I do want to remind pe- people, you know, people that mad respect for Peter Moore, but just remember the last time he was in anything to do with Xbox, that was 2007. Might as well have di- been a different planet at that point. But, uh, Peter Moore, as a president of Sega, Moore was in the room when Sega killed Dreamcast and went third party. Then as uh, boss of Xbox, he oversaw the Xbox 360, contending with everything from the Red Ring of Death uh, debacle to over uh, the over the top E3 presentations. Um, so it says, yes, Peter Moore is that video game executive who got Halo 2 tattoo on his arm just to flex. So shout out to him for being crazy. Uh then after Microsoft and another tattoo this time to promote GTA 4's launch on Xbox, that uh, says Moore joined uh, Electronic Arts to run EA Sports and the FIFA, FIFA series. Uh, in short, Moore, Moore knows what it takes to run a successful and unsuccessful console business, says IGN. And if anyone's wondering what, you know, whether he's he's got any clout, obviously he does, but... Peter out here basically kind of telling us that it might be the end times like for Mm -hmm. consoles as a whole. And I'm not, I'm not even saying like Peter is necessarily wrong, uh, but maybe things are trending in that direction. Uh, To be fair, in this article, it even states that they were saying that in 2007 too. But I, I just want to get your you guys' two cents on what you guys think is going on with Xbox hardware. What maybe what you think some of the executives are even thinking. Do, do you do you foresee the console Xbox specifically going away sometime in the near future nah. or or anything like that? I'll I'll start with you, Dirt. What's your uh, what's your thoughts on on kind of Peter Peter Moore um, and what he'd been saying? Uh, you know what I think uh, honestly, the near future definitely not. I believe they will have another console. Um, if you think about ten to fifteen years from now, who knows? Mm. There That's might not even know. be a PS six. Yeah. You know, who knows? Ten to fifteen years from now, there probably won't be consoles at that point from from anyone. You right, know, we'll still be able to play games. It'll just be a different way. So he's not necessarily wrong. Um, I think some people saw this article and took it like, "Oh, he's saying Xbox is dead." No, he's not saying. Right. That. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some people took it as a negative, uh, as a negative article. 
I mean, yeah. hell, Sarah Bond and Phil Spencer, they already confirmed they're doing another console, right? Mm-hmm. They're going to have another console generation. If that generation lasts six to seven, eight years, man, come on. It's going to be, I'll be in my 60s, damn it. Like right. another, <laughs> what the hell do I care? If, right, right, I'm right. 47 right now. You hey, Dirk, you're on the way out at that point. Shit. I mean, <laughs> right, bro, like, that's a conversation for the kids, shit. I mean, right, bro, I'm 47, right? 15 years, I'll be in my 60s. So who would care at that point? Mm. But evolution, you know, technology constantly evolves. I still, part of me still believes in the future, not the near future, but the future, maybe 10, 15 years from now. Cloud gaming, the technology yeah. might be great enough by then to where cloud gaming see, if, like feels like native gameplay. Yeah. You know, I really feel that way because technology is only getting better over the years. And you know, who knows at this point? So like, I'm not going to say he's necessarily wrong, but in the near yeah. future, absolutely not. But it's not just an Xbox thing. I mean, yes, yeah, yeah. it's the gaming industry, man. There might exactly. be a, a, a time where there's no consoles. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real here. So like, yeah, you would have told me 15 years ago that the gaming industry would be mostly digital or even myself personally that I will be all digital since 2017, I would have said, hell no, no way. I love my physical games too much. But then you realize, you know, listen, this is what's happening. Physical is on its way out completely. Not like yep. we all know the Best Buy and Target and Walmart stop selling physical games. Yeah. I'm yep. team fuck physical. True for you. Say, yeah, me too, bro. At this point, I'm, like, I'm team fuck physical. I've been, like that. I've been all digital since 2017. And you would have asked me that 15 years ago. I would have said, no way will they mm-hmm. stop making physical games. So here we are. So 15 years from now, probably there might not be any console, but there will still be video games. Yep. Yep. Right. And as long as there's video games and I can play how I want to play, which means sitting on my sofa in front of the TV or or however, like in front of a monitor playing, however I want to play it, as long as that's available, it doesn't matter to me. But I don't think he's wrong, but Yep. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people just took this. I think people go from zero to 100 real fast when they real when they fan. read some of these real, real fast. Uh, I think some of you need to slow your roll just a little bit. I don't I don't think consoles are going away anytime soon. I mean, we just said this on another podcast. I, there, there's just too many damn people. Yep. that are in game pass and too many damn console gamers 100%. to just to, to, to just like throw up your hands and go fuck it like we're we're done uh <laughs> right. tomorrow like that's insane we're just gonna get rid of like 40 50 60 70 million people <laughs> no you're not doing that because <laughs> they like money yep. you know what i'm saying <laughs> but wh- one of the things that you said uh that was interesting to me was he said gen z is coming through and they're going why do i need to spend four or five hundred bucks on a bespoke piece of gaming hardware when I've got got my smartphone or I got my PC or my Mac and I can do things there with a pretty decent controller. And I think he's got a point. Like, I think those times, they're technically here, but I think they're coming to to what Griggity was saying. Uh, The cloud, for Xbox, the cloud has to catch up. But if you're playing, if if you're using NVIDIA service, I think it's good enough right now mm, for yeah. nvidia so if it's the technology is already here um if you know if oh what's going on platinum 890 new subscriber appreciate you uh it, it would be interesting to see if i would you know there you go there i didn't realize i would <laughs> subscribe i was like snap i'm not <laughs> yeah you should probably do that yeah you could unfortunately you couldn't even hide that dirt like ah yeah. shit you're gonna yeah, see know, that <laughs> hey it is what it is it is what it is i'm subscribed now though yeah that hey count it brother uh but it'd be interesting to see like if if they were like to do some sort of collaboration i would love to see a collaboration with nvidia to get their technology because it is unbelievably good uh, heard, what yeah, they're what, what one they're one doing right now one. yeah i mean I, I tested it out a little bit a lot of people were talking about it i was like yeah 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 how much better could it possibly be than x cloud it is it's all it's everything people were were saying it was and they got yeah, a lot right, of yeah. subscribers I too heard stadia was was really good i never tried stadia but i, I believe stadia it i heard good, yeah. st- i heard stay everyone who did stadia you know, tried stadia yeah. loved it um their business model was just fucking shit like we we knew we knew it was a terrible idea 
uh, what they were doing. But I'll go to you, Nero. What do you think about what Peter Moore said? Like, what do you think about the whole encompassing thing of right? Uh, um, so, these so things before, possibly dying. Go for before it. I get into that, right? I want to say what the possibility of them dying. Let's just people should probably appreciate this console generation more than what they have been. Uh, that go for yeah. fans of PlayStation and Xbox. You know, I see a lot of people saying this this generation has been underwhelming, and I just feel like you can't be really playing games if you feel that way. Uh, we've been getting hit with so many. Um, oh man, <laughs> their head got ray traced. <laughs> You know, look at yeah. These are his supporters. Oh, so get, the like, get your panties in a bunch out there. I don't, I don't want King Thrash coming in here saying we're fucking racist and that bullshit like it did last time. Uh, you can go fuck yourself preemptively if you come in here and saying that bullshit. Uh, I apologize. My dogs are losing their mind. I don't know where my wife is, but I don't know if you hear that in the background. But yeah, we shut yeah, up. But I was saying. Uh, <laughs> I was saying we should definitely appreciate this generation, man. We've been getting some great games. Uh, we're about the halfway point of this generation. There's still so many more good games to come, man. And it's just so many to name, man. Just even just on it. Let's just just even only on the Xbox side, because let's be honest, Xbox has been only giving us true next gen games. Right. Uh, you think about Starfield, even across generation games like Halo and uh, and Forza Motorsport and then Forza Horizon. We've been getting so many great games, man. It's honestly too many to name. So, mm. you know, Hogwarts Legacy. When had last time had uh, a, good, a good fucking uh, Harry Potter game? God, right? I love that game. You, know, you got Dragon's Dogma 2. Fucking you know, by, by the time it's all said and done, we're going to have a new Elder Scrolls game. So it's like, uh, we got a new GTA coming. You know, we, yeah. GTA got skipped the entire last generation. Right? Yeah, GTA 5 came out on the PS3. Huh? We got Foam Stars, right? Uh, yeah, that, that's a banger. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like when when you got games yeah. that's so good, like Foam Stars and Last of Us being remade for the fifth time. Um, <laughs> it's just I think we should all be grateful. But now, nah, all jokes aside, I don't I don't think uh, that the consoles is going anywhere anytime soon. And I think before we see the end of consoles, we will see maybe a console PC hybrid mm. where they give you the mm. option yeah. to get a console and then upgrade it over time, right? So like maybe every five, six, seven years. You just go replace a specific part. And at that point, it basically will be PC, but it'll be like a diet version of PC for people right. like me that just don't want to be a PC, a.k.a. pussy cheater. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm more of a console <laughs> guy. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm more yeah. of a like sitting in front of my TV on a couch versus, you know, having a bad back sitting at a desk all day. That's just me. Yep. So, you know, teach yeah. their own. But I just think that's more gloom and doom and doom and gloom, right? Because that's the popular thing to do with Xbox, you know. I feel like you can't question Xbox leaving the hardware um, division without questioning if Sony going to leave the hardware division. Because let's Absolutely. remember, whatever Microsoft does, Sony follows. You know, so if yeah. Microsoft do leave, then best believe PlayStation won't be too far behind. So, you know, I really don't want consoles to go anywhere. But, you know, like you guys said, technology is already so good to the point that you can stream games with ease. That, you know, maybe one day it will only be streaming, man. So, you know, it's kind of scary from a console fan perspective to think about the future, man. But then yeah. you should just feel good when you got your leaders, your leaders, mm. like Sarah Bonds and Phil Spencer out here telling us that we're going to get another console generation and that it's going to be the biggest leap in console history. What? She said you that. what I'm saying? So she, she did it. say that. She said that. She didn't yeah, need to that. <laughs> so people yeah. Out like I, well, I, th I don't know if everybody heard it. Dirt. That's the thing. It's like well, she said it, and we're still talking this. People pick and choose yes. what they want to hear. You understand? Like people pick yeah. and choose what news they want to hear, right? Um, if, if she was to come out and say, "Hey, man, these consoles are so powerful now; it's going to be a small leap," you know, that'd be all over IGN, getting tweeted a thousand times a day. But you know, she says it's going to be the biggest leap, and you barely hear anybody in the media talking about it, man. So. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. that they just confirmed that it is going to be another console, and that makes me feel good, man. And hopefully, Xbox just goes straight to next gen. Don't do that. Re like, it's only one console out here right now that need a pro. Mm. Let's be honest. <laughs> it's only one console on the market that need a pro. Somebody needs it. Someone and, it's else the and, it's, and it's the console that got less than less 120 hertz games than the Series S. That's the console that needs a pro. Mm -hmm. like, oh, there you go. Good for another five years. No scope. There you go. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, Nero. I, I I definitely agree with with what you just said. Um, 
We'll, we'll move on from, from, from one interview to, to another. I'm not going to spend too much time on uh, Sean Layden's interview, but I, there was some things that I thought that was kind of interesting that he brought up. So let me uh, see if, yeah, here we go. Uh, let's see. So Layden, Layden says in his, his interview that this was with uh, Venture Beat. So he says, let's take an old world problem. Let's go back 10 to 15 years. Remember, remember when used games were such a hot uh, button topic back in the day? It says, in Japan, platforms were fighting in court to stop the sale of used games because they had different laws around it. In America, it was pretty much a lost cause. If you can sell a used book, a used album, a used car, why can't you sell a used game? The only difference is that a book, an album, a car, they degrade. The book gets torn. The cars get dense. With digital media, every copy is identical. There's no wear and tear. Sony fought and they lost this war. GameStop made a fortune on, on used game sales as part of their business, as big as part of their business. Part of the reason why publishers and developers were so uh, aggravated by it is that you can resell a game five times over, but the developer or publisher only gets uh, something from the original sale. This is if there were a system where you could have used digital games where I have an uh, .exe file, essentially, of a game and want to sell it uh, because I'm not done playing it in the current world of things, I could sell, sell my digital library. You can't sell your iTunes library, but if there were a system where if I were to sell you a digital copy of a game and through that transaction, the original creator could get X percent every time the game is resold, then publishers and developers would have a very different view towards the use market. They'd be begging, please sell my game. I just wanted to get you guys as like a uh, little input on what Sean is. He's talk obviously, he's talking about like use game back in the day, uh, which was uh, some, someone like GameStop's bread and butter. Mm -hmm. But do you, do you, would you be okay with a, with a system where, if someone comes up with this, they're going to be freaking billionaires. I can tell you oh, that yeah. if they can figure this shit out. But Dirt, would you be would you be down for like a, a used digital, uh, you know, gaming platform essentially, where at least the publishers would get some money, so they wouldn't care? Um, me personally, I mean, whatever. I mean, I mean, it's fine. Um, like you said, GameStop for years had their physical game use, uh, you know, which was which is their their bread and butter, which is also part of the reason why they're not as uh, big as they were because, you know, digital is taking over. Um, so, yo, I mean, I would be fine with it. It, it wouldn't bother me any. Um, there's a lot of digital games I have. I wish I could sell them shits. You that's know. what that's what I'm saying. Like, it'd be, I mean, yeah, it's a right. win win for everybody, right? I like, I got a lot it. of old digital shit. So Anybody want to buy Motors of Avium for five bucks? I got <laughs> <laughs> He bought it for 70, selling yeah. it for five. It's a steal. I mean, look, there's games I have absolutely no interest in ever playing again. And, right. Listen, I'm not a digital game collector. What the hell do I care? That game right. can get out of here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I don't have a problem with it at all. Yeah. Uh, Nero, what, what do you, you have any thoughts uh, on this? Like, digital platform like being able to resell your old old digital games um, no nah, i think i think that would be dope but i think it would be have to be some type of limit like maybe you can only resell a digital game twice a two-time limit you know mm. so maybe you sell it to a person but after that second person sell it you can't just keep passing around for the low yeah. like hotcakes because it has it some type down. of limit I agree, yeah. Yeah. you know um and that that's one of the drawbacks for digital over physical but the you know the bonus is hey man you don't gotta go walk and take it to sell it to nobody you know you just sell it and now it's in their library and uh I think that would be really dope man you know it is a few games I got burnt on that I bought and you know didn't try to refund right away or Microsoft caught on and said yo we're not doing that and uh, I wouldn't mm -hmm. mind selling them and just getting rid of them but um uh, I think that would be dope and like you said Retri who, whoever comes up with that idea would be a genius oh, and a millionaire my so God dude See, like what if it's like this I say yo like me and Retri is talking I say like Retri like Retri I don't like this damn I don't know just say what's that Alan Wake too I don't like Alan Wake mm -hmm. too Do you want to buy it from me You know you say okay yeah How much We agree on ten bucks <laughs> and somehow Microsoft or PlayStation get a small percentage of that. Right. I, I guarantee they would love to do that shit. Oh, yeah. 100%. Like, 
Even they get like uh, uh just if they got that, that person tiny. basically them double dipping when you really think yes. about it at that, at that point yes. in time, it'll be it'll, it, no when I really think about it that's actually very beneficial yeah. for yep. them to lit to everybody though that's yeah. that's the thing because yeah. the digital just fucking sits there and rots it's, it's there and, rot. and it, it 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 doesn't do anything except for unless you really care about the game then you go back and you can play that. And that, but then I see like the future of, of like services like like Game Pass, where those first party shit ain't going anywhere. So I don't fucking yeah. need. I don't need the physical yeah. or the digital Facts. version of that because it's sitting there. Facts. Anytime sitting I want to re-download it, I got it. You know what I'm saying? So I can sell literally thousands of digital games for one dollar, two dollar. I don't fucking know what it would cost. It'd probably be shit. Xbox, but everyone Xbox gets a piece. Get their percentage. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It can be. If you sell a game for five dollars, they might get thirty five cent. But if you yes. get millions of people doing that, shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. I think exactly. Lyric made a good point, man. You basically just selling your license of the game and not the game itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're just passing around. Yeah. Yep. yeah, here's a license. Here's a license. Here's a license. Absolutely, Lyric, hundred percent. Yeah, because times have changed. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, I thought I thought that was an interesting thing that that uh, that Sean brought up. Uh, and I'm, I'm guessing he's probably working on that right now. Uh, but he also, <laughs> yeah, they also asked, VentureBeat said, uh, Phil Spencer talked about the decisions they've made to take some games to Sony's platform, to other platforms. One thing he said was that what everyone needs is for the market to grow. When the market's not growing, it explains a lot of the suffering going on and the need to rethink. Layden says this to that. He says, absolutely. When, you're, when your cost for a game exceeds $200 million, I think it meant 300 million, but yeah, 200 million exclusivity is your Achilles heel. It reduces your addressable market, particularly when you're in the world of live service gaming or free to play. Another platform is just another way of opening the funnel, getting more people to play. In a free to play world, we know that about 95% of those people will never spend a nickel. All uh, the business is all about conversion. You have to improve your odds by cracking the funnel open. Hell Divers 2 has just shown that PlayStation coming out on PC at the same time works. Shocker. Again, that you get the funnel is wider. You get more people in. He says for single player games, it's not the same exigency. But if you're spending $250 million on a game, you want to be able to sell it to as many people as possible, even if it's just 10% more. Mm. The global install base for consoles he says, if you go all the way back to PlayStation 1 and everything else stacked up there, whatever in time you look at it, the cumulative consoles out there never gets over $250 million. It just doesn't. The dollars have gone up over time, but I look at that and see that we're just taking more money from the same people. I mm. love that he said that because I 100% agree with that. Mm. That happened during the pandemic, which made a lot of companies overinvest. Look at our numbers going up. He said that they had to chase, you know, they had to chase the rocket, essentially had to, had to chase the money, which which I get, which is one of the you know, like ebb and flows of this industry and why it's so scary if you're a fucking dev because you're always looking over your over your so shoulder, essentially, to see if you, you still have a have a job. But uh, I'll go to you, Dirt. What, what do you get from what Layden says about, you know, the, these games costing so much and um, the free to play models and. Everything I basically just said, like the ninety-five, the ninety-five percent not not spending any money on live service, and the five percent basically carrying the workload, yeah. and, and us us suckers, uh, <laughs> you know, us suckers continually just paying more, be, so they can make more money. There's not more of us. We're just spending more. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what what are your thoughts about what Layden uh, Layden uh, said here? Um, well, actually, I uh, agree with them because you know. Everybody know I'm an Xbox fan, boy. I talk shit. I do console war banter. But yes, sir. when you realize what's happening in the gaming industry, a, a guy my age, 47 years old, I've been around all these console generations. And like he said, if you talk, if you go from the PS2, original Xbox GameCube generation to now, yeah, the numbers are the same, right? They Give are. Take it's 10 crazy. 10 million here and there. There's yeah. really not many new people investing in console. Right. right. There were new people in, investing in PCs. A lot of like gamers playing mobile now. Um, and if you think about what he said, I think he's right. So when you have these games, but the budgets have been going up, right? When you think right. about consoles, the P 
people buying consoles has remained the same. They're selling to the same people, but the budgets have been going up on these games. So what's happening? The budget's going up, but not many but, more people buying games. And all of a sudden, you're like, damn. These games, you know, the prices haven't really went up much. $10 this generation. But it's like, right, man, right. we have to figure out a way to, to like, calm this shit down because it's going crazy. The budgets are going crazy. So for years, PlayStation was only about the PlayStation console. To play PlayStation exclusives, you had to have a PlayStation console. Mm-hmm. Those days are about to be gone because, as we already <laughs> see, they're yeah. putting their games on PC. Xbox figured this out long ago. Long ago. Long ago. Long speak on it. Yeah. Speak ahead on of the game. curve. Crazy. Yeah. They're always ahead and of their time. pissed oh. off. Like, why are you putting your games on PC day to day? Xbox yep. saw where the industry was headed. Now, if you think about now, Xbox is already overnight. They're in mobile already overnight. Bar ABK. Yeah, we have a big presence in mobile. We're there. Yeah. Right. So I know a lot of us uh, Xbox guys were pissed off about Xbox putting four yeah. their games on PlayStation. I was when those rumors were going crazy. I was pissed. I was like, why Xbox yeah. putting all this shit over there? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, after that podcast with Phil, take Sarah, step- yeah, yeah, and Matt. It mm-hmm. calmed me down a little bit. You know, Phil said some things that calmed me down. Just a great leader, man. Just, just yeah. a great leader. No, yeah. Man, like, like I always say on my podcast, when Phil said, uh, if you think, you know, these four games going mean that all games are going, that's not the case because they're not. I'm sure some more will go. Yeah, sure. Um, you yeah. know, but I don't think all their games will go. And it's just, this, the, this is the gaming industry we're in right now. I know it's unfamiliar to a lot of us. Especially us that console war that use exclusives <laughs> as ammo. Yeah. So it's like, oh shit. Yeah. We're running out of bullets. Yeah, um, we run out of bullets. Dirt. But at the same time, <laughs> this is where we are now, right? This is where we are. Xbox. Yo, look at Reese. <laughs> Xbox <laughs> is uh oh, for real. Out the, <laughs> yeah, ledge. Out. Yo. the truth comes out. Thank you, Reese. <laughs> oh damn. So like before I give it to you guys, let me oh, say this my. last day right quick. So, yeah, go for it. We just have to realize that, (laughs) you know, we might not like some of the things that's happening. We see PlayStation guys are still pissed off about Ghost of Tsushima. Why are you guys still surprised their games are getting, are are going to PC at this point? All of their games are going to PC and that's All of them. All of them are going. It's just a matter of porting them over. That's the, that's, that's what's taking so long. Yep. Um, If they had more, if they had more studios to port them over at Griggity, they'd be there. I guarantee it. They would be there already. and yeah. Retro, it makes sense at this point. It, it does. Makes sense. So, you know, like I said, some of those Xbox guys might not like some future games going to PlayStation or Nintendo or whatever. But you know, trust me, we'll get over the shit. <laughs> we'll we'll get over it, right? We'll so, get over so it. It's just a different time in Yo, gaming, man. The thing, thing is, too dirt. Oh. Like, if if you stuck around this, if you're an OG from Xbox. Uh, you can get over some bad news pretty quickly. I think, you know, we've been through the fucking ringer. Uh, we're, we're used to, you know, this shit. So it, it, it's all good. Um, but You're damn uh, right about that, bro. Yeah, 100%. Uh, <laughs> she's here, guys. She's alive. I was, I was getting a little bit worried. Okay. But she well, is here. I just want to apologize because last week uh, it was 1 p.m. my time and I didn't realize that your I knew it. That's what time we said. had changed. Yes, I and knew so, it was a time change. You're good, you're good. No so worries. I didn't realize there was a time t- change this week or else I would have been here on time, so I do apologize. <laughs> no, you're you're good, Panda. We're just happy you're here. Happy I'm happy. You're, I've literally you made just been it. mowing lawns, so if I look weird <laughs> and sweaty, it's because I've been mowing lawns. She's been working hard. Look at that I've been working huh? before the show. <laughs> Hit that like button. She came in. I am so hard. sorry. I am so right sorry. In. Don't, and don't appreciate you it, being here and holding it down while I'm while I'm running late. <laughs> while, you, while, you, while you're mowing the lawn, yeah, doing that hard yeah. labor. Yeah, no, no <laughs> Panda, don't, dude, don't worry about it. You're good. Uh, just just happy to have you here joining us, uh, Panda. The Halo. I was I was I was complimenting you early, calling you the Halo Queen. Uh, I said, don't don't fuck with Panda. She will she will mess you up in Halo. Uh, that's just the truth. She's gonna Panda, give me uh, shit over time about being better than me at Halo. It's fine. Panda, we might I have don't even think you shit. Man. You just you just immediately fall over and admit defeat. So I do. <laughs> yo, when I yo talent recognizes talent, and I thought I was good at Halo, and I played against you. I'm like, maybe I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'll beat your ass in Fortnite anytime. Um, again, <laughs> I just want to say thank you, Dirt, for joining us for our first episode on the show. And I really, really do apologize for being late. <laughs> it was all good. Oh. Yeah. All right. I think, um, I guess we can, I guess we can move into the next uh, hot topic here. And that is a, is, is PlayStation uh, canceling the great <laughs> web. I can never remember the damn name of this game, dude. It's, uh, yeah. So the great web. We might have to uh, add you in another scene, Panda, into. Uh, so I'm going to show this right here in the Twitter scene. So you might have to add yourself. I'm going to transition over to that in a second. Let me uh, let me bring this up real quick. Uh, let's see. Mute this shit. Uh, let me copy that. All right, we're going to go over here and check check this. Uh, this out in a second. Oh, thank you for switching it to studio mode. She's already she's already helping me out, folks. She just got here. All right, <laughs> me, uh, she's, it's a team she's effort. Like, I was late. Let me help you. I'm sorry. Let All me right, do so, my job. Yeah, hundred <laughs> well, percent. We're gonna see how this stuff works. A lot of this this uh, software and stuff is is kind of uh, new. Well, it's new to these guys for sure, and I haven't used it too much. So we're going to. Uh, See if we can get this working here, uh, the way the way it's supposed to work. Uh, is that the right scene I selected? By the way, did I select the right scene? Yes, you did. <laughs> yes. The great web left left with Jim Ryan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, poor Jimmy boy. All right, let's uh, let's check. Oh, let me hold on. Is this fucking thing? Shout out to the chat, man, for sure. Yeah, thank you guys. You guys are definitely holding yeah, it down. Appreciate you. Yeah, making my uh, night for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. And uh, Panda, I may or may not finish the entire community to challenge anybody on the ADS podcast. So uh, <clears throat> we don't duck any action, though. So yes, yes, absolutely. We we will we will challenge you uh, if you want to play us in in the video games. Uh, and uh, you guys can obviously join our Discord too. It's Community Game Nights. Nights is spelled with the K K N. Uh, so you can definitely, uh, you know, join us there if you want to play some games. We do it all the time. Typically, I do Friday nights, Saturday nights for games. But uh, like I was saying earlier, we're going to try to combine forces with some other uh, YouTubers and stuff to try to get a huge either Halo. We'll probably it'll probably be Halo. Who am I kidding? It's going to probably be Halo or maybe COD or something like that. Now that they're under the Xbox banner. Uh, but let's. I'm just going to play this uh, in the background here. This is a uh, New York City. Nothing little thing that's not happening. I wouldn't do for this big, beautiful oh, man. And you say this is what got canceled? Moment, you're scarfing down a that trailer minis. was well next, done. You're I wonder how far the game was along. You know oh my God. That's, that's what I'm wondering. Ever. This looks amazing. But try not to lean too hard into the whole like low, low thing. Exactly. Because this gig's a whole lot more fun when you've got friends. What? Multiplayer Spider-Man? When is this coming out? There are plenty of baddies out there who'd like to see you six feet under. Which leads me hey to Chad, let me know if you're actually really hearing dumb. hearing the uh, audio you know the coming out. Web, I'll make sure it's actually working. The nexus of life and destiny that should have been all us spider game pals together. From Max. day dog. A few of us here tried to protect. Yep. But we failed. If the we great web collapses, it's <laughs> the end for us all. Thank you, Peter. Appreciate it. So, if you're hearing this. Peter Knight, Those not of you still able Peter Parker. To swing across the great web. <laughs> it's time to come together and fix this mess. He'll take the compliment no matter what you mean, Theoretry. You're gonna need <laughs> I know it. This is. Uh, He's like, I'm Spider-Man now. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Signing off. I feel bad for the team that made that trailer. <laughs> I know, right? Like we work so that's a sec that's a second trailer too. I no. don't know how I don't know how this shit got leaked out. So uh wait, shout wait, out to wait. Ash and I'm just getting caught. Wait, that's canceled? Oh welcome. That, canceled yes. This? Yes. Oh my yeah. god, I just put my Xbox. DOA. I mean it didn't no. even arrive. I just yeah. put my Xbox up for sale on eBay seeing that trailer. And you mean to tell me this <laughs> game is actually not coming? Not coming. Let me, let me go take that listing down real quick. God damn it. Yeah. Okay. I thought yeah. he was serious for a second when you said he just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he I love me. you, man. Yeah. So it's <laughs> it's it's dead. D D O A. Not not to see the uh, light of day. Uh, I I am curious though. Like maybe I'm alone on this one. I I don't know. I I felt like maybe it would be too repetitive. But 
did you did you guys actually enjoy the trailer? Did you think this game should have come out? Did you think it looked fire for, for I mean, what well, we saw? The, the regular Spider-Man's is repetitive as hell. Fair enough. I, I, I can't. <laughs> I don't know if I can argue with that. Yeah. It looks, I, I mean, honestly, it looked fine. You know what I'm saying? If you like Spider-Man games, it looked like it would have been uh, fun for mm-hmm. people that like Spider-Man games. It looked like a PS3 Pro game. I mean, it, <laughs> a PS3 Pro. It's a, it's a game. <laughs> I mean... Uh, I th- I think it. See, that's the problem, man. Sony just doesn't have any fucking faith in anything other than those walking simulators and those babysitting simulators, and it's very mm. disappointing, man. Because all trolling aside, I think I think that would have been good for them to to come out because uh, not only do they have no multiplayer games, they don't have the simple co op games. You get what I'm saying? Just just playing with your friends and playing with your buddies. You know, it's more than multiplayer than just PvP. You know. Or, you know, so it's like you you, you losing on every front, and uh, it's it's sad. I mean, to me, that trailer didn't look too impressive. It looked at clunky as hell, and it just it would have flopped, just like all the games do. So I mean, that's what I'm wondering. But they could have sold it as seventy dollar DLC. <laughs> yeah, <and they> <laughs> here's the, here's the only thing where I'm going to defend this, where I think because I was told and I didn't know this that there was over like nine hundred. Spider-Man because of the multiverse shit. So essentially they could have gone the route of of Epic Games in a Fortnite style and they would have had skins for years to to sell you. Um but that doesn't fix bad gameplay and that's kind of like what I saw. I, a lot of a lot of Xbox guys were saying they that they thought this looked fire and I'm not one of them. I actually they was only it retry, too repetitive. Retry, retry, retry. They was only saying that because they know it's not coming. Because <laughs> Because I, I, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the same thing. It looks amazing, so but it's not coming. So I mean, you know, I think, I, <laughs> give it its I think it added a element that was like elevated rather than the standard rinse and repeat, repeat Spider Man One and Spider Man Two experience that the Xbox players have been watching from afar if they haven't played it on a PS Five. So I right. think it added some sort of um, dynamic um, gameplay that wasn't that repetitive side of things. I think that's what was calling out to them because the idea of playing with friends like in Outriders and Halo and all of those games where you get to experience and have fun and troll each other in games. So I feel like that's what they were looking at going, this looks fire. But aside from that, I don't think it it was probably going to do as well as they, like just launching it by itself. It needed to be like a DLC or some sort of tack on. Yeah. Um, right. You never know. They might relook at it at Spider-Man Three episode five. <laughs> Who knows how many episodes they're making of, of Spider Man three? So right, yeah, I see where you're going with that. Terry, what did, did, did you actually like? I'm not like not I like. I know I know we like to troll troll, but did you actually think it looked decent or? I thought it looked fine. Yeah, you know, it is. I mean, it looks like Spider Man co op Spider Man. Um, right. Yeah. But you know they. I don't know, man. We don't know what's going on internally at Sony. Um, the media might say, like, like have an article here and there about, oh, well, this studio had layoffs, this studio got closed, or this game got canceled, but they really don't know how to do multiplayer games. Mm-hmm. They really don't. And Clear, clearly not. Clearly, I mean, we... And they these factions... They condition dead. their fan base to like one type of game. Right. Single player stories, and then listen, they make decent single player games. Absolutely, uh, man. I, I but, hate to be this guy, man. <laughs> uh-oh. You, you know, <laughs> go ahead. They only ahead, know man. how to make one type of game because they're only that entire company is being ran by one type of person and one type of race. I hate to be that guy. Uh, when you look at Microsoft, no, be that, be that guy. See, yeah, you know, when you look at opinion, Microsoft. Man. You see diversity all around the board, man. You, you can yeah. just look, you know, from, from black women to, to white women, black men, Hispanic, like you just, and Native American, like you just see it, all that diversity. When you don't have those different, uh, that different diversity to make people come with different ideas and take those risks, you're forever going to be dealing with situations like this where you got these devs. Are you trying to say so they're hard. vanilla? The, Sorry, very I had vanilla. to make that. <laughs> very vanilla. <laughs> Extremely that was my way for the day. We're good. We just <laughs> someone leaked the game of this trailer, and we're just going to find out later on that Bungie went in there, looked at the game, and we're yes. like, Bungie, yes. Bungie, yo, Bungie Cancel it. it. You think Bungie, Bungie was the like, one? Nah. Bungie been walking around, <laughs> Bungie been walking around PlayStation headquarters, smacking everybody games off their desk. Like yeah. I heard, they walked in and Neil Druckmann and just smacked that faction shit on the ground and said, "Yo, 
start over. Better yet, cancel this shit. Help us with marathon. And that's that's what got back to me. I don't know how true it is, but that's just the that's just the you know, that's just what's going on in these gaming streets, man. And it's probably gonna cost another and, 300 million to finish the game anyway. And, and look, uh, I, I respect all you guys' opinion, right? But uh that that, game, that shit look like that shit look ass. All right. It don't look better than Suicide Squads. It damn sure don't look better than Gotham Knight Knights. Right. And both of those games got hit with so much criticism. A right? lot of hate. In my opinion, both yeah. of those games, and I play both of them games, so I can speak on it. Both of those games look miles better than what the fuck I just seen in that trailer. Right. Um yep. when you said miles, I thought you were gonna make like a Miles Morales, miles Morales joke there joke, for a yeah. moment. I was like, <laughs> Sing it's way. ripe for yeah. it. Miles <laughs> is the only He's thing holding that, that, that franchise yeah. up at this moment, man. Um, <laughs> And I, I'm sorry, like a lot of Sony games just don't look good. You know, I've been spoiled all generation from from Xbox, you know, whether it's the games in front of me on my screen when they drop or just the trailers I've been seeing from the games that that are coming. I'm just I'm just spoiled. So when I see games like Rise of Ronin and, you know, if you follow me on Twitter, I've been praising Rise of Ronin for saying like as an Xbox guy, that's one of them games I want to play. But man, I mean, if we're just talking about visually, they need a PS5 Pro. Yeah, I got I, I nope. you know, Rise of Ronin was high on my list until I saw it the last time, last time they showed it. I was fresh. dude, I was really disappointed. And I'm not even talking yeah. about like the uh, the them him scaling the building. It was before it was before that during during their so state awesome. of play. I was a little it was high on my list. I was a little disappointed. The only thing that I'm interested in right now is what I'm already playing. That's Helldivers 2. Uh, which I think is I think is a pretty good game. I don't think Helldivers Two is as good as COD. I don't think it's as good as Halo. I don't think it's as good as Fortnite. Definitely but it's a good game. Good it's a good. It's a good game. Um, I mean, but man, Dragon's like, Dogma is gonna come in and stomp the shit out of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely. I definitely <laughs> want to like. Yeah, I definitely want to possibly do a poll if I can figure out how to do that bullshit. I mean, isn't um, multiverses coming back soon? That's also gonna shut that shit. Down. Multi multiverses. <laughs> I I do. I don't. I. I did not like multiverses. I, I hope hopefully yeah. they'll they'll get That's their the their shit together. Be, be careful, yes. Right? Yeah, I ain't like that. Yeah. And I tried it. I just I didn't I don't know what it was. The combat just was not was not for me. But yeah. you are seeing like you're seeing these guys cancel some uh, they canceled factions too. The twisted twisted metal. That's another one that pissed me off. I was looking for, first of all, I didn't know it was supposed to be a live service game. I was just excited that there was gonna be a twisted metal in the world. Uh, and then they were like, oh, they canceled another live service game, Twisted Metal. I was like, that was going to be a fucking live service game, really? Um, okay. <laughs> then you got the London studio shutting down o- over at, at uh, Sony that was supposed to be we, some fantastical and magical game. We had no clue really what that was. Uh, First Contact Entertainment, ever heard of them? Probably not. That's another studio that shut down. It was a VR studio. Uh, that was a partner partnership with Sony. Most people probably don't even know what that is or where that it existed at all. Uh, so that's another one gone. Devi- Deviation Games. Mm. They were they making a lot. Before they opened gone. Up. They walked Bye. in the office, cut the uh, lights on, and cut it off and walked out. <laughs> not quite sure what they were working on. It's like the Matrix somehow, where they cut the heart line yeah, and they've changed it and they all right. bricked up and they can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, no, Retri, they were. Yeah. Uh, no, it's confirmed working on a F, an exclusive FPS uh game P- probably a games as a service most likely uh for playstation they they were well you're right that deviation was yeah 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 that yeah so we know we know like we don't know what it was about but we know yeah, yeah. that it was going to be a live service we even know what it cost i know it co- they said it cost 50 million dollars so i know all this shit except nothing about the actual fucking game itself which is hilarious to me mm. um but Do you know what's it's hilarious just, to me yes panda that people still hilarious. bring in f- fucking scale bound Mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really yeah, holding on to like, Scalebound. Oh, but Scalebound like, was like seven, like like eight years ago, and this is like cancelled game, cancelled game, cancelled game, cancelled game, and I'm like, you can't compare them at all. That's what pisses me off. Stop yeah. bringing up Scalebound. It's not a win. Yeah. They're closing studios, too. It's, it's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, closing studios left and right. How many studios have closed under Xbox recently? <laughs> well, they canceled that Goose one egg. game that was in development for six years, but no studio has closed. Right, that's that, what I, that's that what was I meant. through like the acquisition, studios. right? Through ABK. Yeah, that was the acquisition, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. And they tried to use those layoffs against Microsoft. And I'm like, I mean, the way Activision has been being ran, I mean, half of you motherfuckers deserve to go. I don't want to see anybody <laughs> lose their job just like the next person. But I mean, if I go into McDonald's and there's 20 people in there working and it still took them 45 minutes to give me my two Big Macs and yo, half yes, sir. Of just need to go as well. You know what I mean? Developers yep. sick that Blizzard game for six years and they said they needed like two or three more years. Matt Booty was like, cut, cut that shit. Get out of here. Yeah. Cut that shit out, right? <laughs> Get out of, y'all need three more years? Get out of here. Yo, and I'm Reese. I love Sony got more canceled games than released ones. That's, a, that's true. Lately, I think that's definitely. true. I think yeah. it might be yeah, actually spot on with that, with that number. Um, it, it's just like this whole live service shit, I don't. I'm fine with it. I obviously I love my live service games, but how the fuck are you going to come into the industry when you got Fortnite, Halo, Call of Duty, Helldivers, Apex, Rocket League, Genshin, Lego, uh, League of Legends, Sea of Thieves, G- GTA Online, No Man's Sky, Final Fantasy 14, Destiny 2. Those are just a few I just named. How the mm-hmm. fuck do you come in and compete like for your time with with, with that shit? Uh, yeah. Wait, what? I miss Jim Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, how dare someone's trolling? Someone took my picture. I know who it is. I know who you are. <laughs> oh, you're writing shit for me. All right. I see what you're doing. Um, hey, can I say something? Go ahead, Kirby. Right right yeah, absolutely. And you know bro. what? Like you mentioned, Dave, uh, the, the games as a service stuff is not easy. They supposedly hire Bungie for their expertise with games as a service. But I believe. More of this is going to happen. I'm I'm not being a fanboy right now. Just pay attention to what's going on. You they needed games as a service, right? In the already top heavy industry, you just named some of the biggest games as a service in the industry right now. They're going yeah. to be there. They're going to stay there. PlayStation, they have uh Hell Divers. The PC part is really helping that game out, and the game is successful for them. But they've already canceled several others. You know, we just mentioned them. Yep. Hey, uh, Haven J. Raymond Studio. This is going to be their first game. That's another, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's fair going games. to be yeah. tough for a first time studio to make a successful game as a service. We just saw Deviation, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like Nero said they they turn on the lights and say, Oh, shit. party's <laughs> over already. As soon as they came in, they went out. Like, then we have Concord from Firewalk. I don't know what their previous game was. I think this is their first game also. So they don't I know how so, to yeah. do games as a service. You know, scale, um, not scale bound. See, see, like, Panda, you got me saying scale bound. Got, like, yeah. Like, scale <laughs> Divers 2 is a success. But when you look at Xbox, they've been doing this shit from the beginning. Yeah, Multiple this is old news. Campaigning yeah. the same game. Halo from the beginning had that. You know, we had, like, people had parties, land parties. Yes with halo because xbox has been doing that from the beginning of of them being in the console industry they've been doing that playstation has some multiplayer games in the ps3 generation but for whatever reason they stopped in the ps4 generation and here we are now they're trying to oh shit we need to get some games as a service and they announced 12 of them well like jim ryan said they was going to have 12 of them they yep. like six or seven of them canceled already i'm just saying <laughs> Dude, I'm running. I'm running out of like fingers here. I don't know how many they canceled, but it's it's a lot. I think they got to be at half of what they originally yeah, yeah. were at. Because I only know of what you just said. I only know of Fair Games, uh, uh, Concord. Uh, we know about uh, or Concord. I don't know whatever. Concord, uh, yeah. M- m- yeah, Marathon and and I still think this one could be canceled. The, the Horizon multiplayer that looks, if you look at the art for it, they looks like fucking like Fortnite. Hey, yeah, they're gonna we're here. Ma- Spider-Man is gonna get merged into that. You're gonna have Spider-Man skins in Horizon. <laughs> oh, you're probably right. <laughs> they said it's not canceled though. They said that Gorilla recently said that the multiplayer is not canceled. Because somebody asked them, Yeah, well, do all these other games being canceled. Is your game canceled? Is that no, we're still yeah. you know right. You know Even- who else said that? Factions, yeah. right to the you're last right. fucking Damn millisecond it, you're right. until it was. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, that's why I can't, you can't trust Sony. You can't, they won't even tell you when they fire people. They sure as shit ain't going to tell you when a game's canceled until it's already done. Until the well, we know it's dead down. when they show up to um, Ke- Keely's showcase and they only show concept art. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's dead then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dead on the vine. It's only okay when they do it, when they show that concept art. But shit. <sighs> All right, let me uh, let me switch this up real quick here. Like, um, Guerrilla Games is history. 
with the yeah. uh, oh, why can't I think of the shoot why can't I think of the name of that game? What did they the sell before... they made? I can't oh, I am not gonna remember what oh, the hell it was. Kill zone. Yeah, so I feel like they do. do probably have a bit more of that history in them to, sure. to make a pretty pretty good game around that. But it is concerning, like what, Jim Ryan's little like six live service games? What are they at now? Like negative six? <laughs> yeah. 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 Right, how, wait, how many did they say they had in the works? Jim Ryan said 12. And we 12. Really oh. so, oh, damn, so they're over did. half of them is canceled. That's yeah, insane. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Factions canceled. Spider Man game is canceled. Uh, deviation game is canceled. Deviation. Yep. Man, long live Jim There's Ryan. Twisted Metal. Metal. There's four. Yep. Twisted There's Metal. Four. Um, uh, I, th- I don't know if the London studio like- that just shut down was doing a live service. I'm not do we I don't know. Supposed to be, but I don't think they even started. Right. Okay. Well, I mean, you could still count if they were supposed to do it. That's part of their that's five. I'm out of t- like I said, I'm really I mean, running man, out of fingers. It's it's so- we can't think of right now, but it's well, no. I feel like there was another one canceled that we hadn't been announced yet. Um, <laughs> properly announced. I feel like there was another one canceled last year. Um, oh, last year. Cons- oh, well, Deviation is- technically, like, a while ago did <laughs> – Deviation, like, I think, like, 10 months ago said that that was canceled. So I'm not sure why it's coming back around now, uh, but probably because of the whole Spider-Man thing. Um, but it's well, like, concerning but know, just looking at the – last year. Yeah. It wasn't? Because okay, I read know, it. Like, the, well, like what happened, Ooh, the man. CEOs, uh, like, the co-founders had left. I mean, so it probably was canceled last year, but it wasn't officially. But canceled. that we didn't know it. Okay, yeah. I must have read an article because it said I read an article somewhere saying it was ten months ago. I was like, "What? I don't remember that." Really? Um, but yeah, but hey, my memory's shit, so do not it was take my word for it. Year, yeah, I know they lost a bunch of employees too last year. So, um, hey, the chat yeah. has got me dying over here, bro. What? Are, I, what are they yo, saying? yo, this is what Kator, I can expect Kator's every Saturday. Hey, I, yo, I forgot about. Co- Kotor, sorry, I always say that wrong. Another one that killed me. I really wanted that to come back. Um, oh yes, that's right. Kotor, yeah. Kotor, yeah, that's that's a good one. That, that's, that's another game that was canceled. Yeah, so canceled, but it's another game that was supposed to be. It's canceled. another. It's but it's another one that died, right? So uh, they saying like, the London studio was making a VR game. VR. Which, you know, oh, it's VR. VR too okay. Small. They made VR so, games. I don't know if their new one was going to be a VR game. Sony need gotcha, to chill out gotcha. on all this hardware they keep releasing. All these like just. Flopping, Yo, flopping. we said VR. We we talked about VR flopping hard, man. And I think Didn't we talk about it. that on the web. audience isn't Podcast. there. Yeah. Yep. It's it's niche. It's, it's niche. niche. And why? It's, it's like JRPGs. It's, it's, it's niche. It always, it always amazed me that people would bother trying to make a game for that niche of a market. You're see that at. You could do literally 100% of your audience if you got 100% of them and you got maybe 8 million that you sell to. Like, I'm not saying 8 million is bad, but you literally have to hit 100%, which we know they don't do on PlayStation. They're lucky if they hit 10. Yeah, PlayStation people do not buy games, despite what the clowns on Twitter say. They just don't. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. K- uh, Asante, I know you asked me earlier. We're, we're using uh, EV mucks right now. We're not, I'm not using. Uh, OBS, I might in the future uh, use a combination of both so we can up the resolution. Um, but uh, I, I could talk to you about that later, Kay. Absolutely. Um, yeah, Xbox should pick up K- uh, KOTOR 100%. Yeah, because it was their you know, game back in the day. Like, pick that shit up. Just take the crumbs. Like, I don't care. Make, make it happen, Captain. Like, shit. All these cancel studios, all these games flopping. But, hey, them console sales, am I right? <laughs> hey, yeah, it's no right. Thing. Yeah, Even absolutely. That isn't enough in Sony eyes. <laughs> right. Not anymore. Absolutely. A bunch of boxes getting sold. Like, that's it. Yeah. Uh, I guess we can, move, we can move on to the next uh, piece of news. Uh, I'll skip this one a little bit. Um, it, it's PS5 Pro. Mm. Mm. PS5 mm. Pro. I know. Needed. I know. Panda I think it's is oxygen because it's a bit high up here with the amount of. To There's not much oxygen up that. here where those um, PlayStation people are sitting bre- believing this shit. Yeah. All right. Let, let me uh, let me give the little number things and talk about it real quick, and I'll let you guys uh, get your bars in and go off. It says uh, this is from Insider Gaming. Can conf- Insider Gaming can confirm that the leaked PS5 Pro specs leaked earlier today are real, and the PlayStation 5 is still tentatively targeting a 2024 holiday release. 
speaking with sources who wish to remain anonymous because they were not authorized to talk about company plans. We can confirm that the leaked documentation from the YouTube channel, Moore's Law is Dead, is real, despite the criticism of the leaker and the leaked specs themselves. Insider Gaming can confirm that the documentation leaked is from a PlayStation developer portal, which was sent out this week to a wider band of third party developers. So I, lo I love on the insider game. I love like the little, little things that I'm about to tell you is kind of just the way it's the way this is worded. It is so fucking marketing BS. It's not even funny. In early 2023, uh, Insider says they reported uh, via key to gaming that PS5 Pro is under the codename Trinity and will be targeting improved and consistent FPS at 4K re resolution. You know the thing they promised us in the first fucking place? Yeah, that thing. A new <laughs> performance mode, go fuck yourself, for 8K resolution, go fuck yourself, and accelerated ray tracing. In addition, it was reported that Trinity will have 30 WGP and 18,000 MTS memory. And if you want to know what 18,000 MTS memory is, it's just a way to basically say, it's just a way to make it sound better than it actually is. It's another way to measure memory that just sounds better because a fucking number is larger. Anyways, they say in the leaks, they also confirm uh, rendering is 45% faster than PS5. This is my favorite one two to three times ray tracing times four in some cases what the fuck does that mean so shouldn't anyway. that be two to four then right like what the fuck is <laughs> what two to four times ray tracing even do two to three like, and then just the but maybe four. talking about what like, does that even mean <laughs> um 33.5 teraflops all the flops you're getting all the flops now now it's okay to talk about teraflops pssr so playstation spectral super resolution upscaling uh, upscaling and anti-aliasing, uh, anti, I, I can never say that word, solution. Anti-aliasing? Um, that, that, that's the one. Um, so they're being Sony and going proprietary with with their upscaling. Very dumb, in my opinion. But anyways, very move dumb. on. So, so very dumb. Hypermeshire resolution. For support for resolutions up to 8K is planned for future SD, SDK version. Not um, one game on Earth X, by the way. Nope. Cust yeah, exactly. Custom machine learning architecture, uh, AI accelerator supporting 300 tops of 8-bit computation, 67 T flops of of 16-bit floating point, which means basically 33 teraflops. But uh, okay, yeah, let's big numbers. Um, who who wants to go first? Who wants to talk about? Um, the PS5 Pro, is it even necessary? Is probably the real good question yes. here. Um, it is. <laughs> all you got to do is look at all the that. Look at Final Fantasy 16 and Final Fantasy Rebirth performance mode and tell me a PS5 Pro is not needed. Fair. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I, like, I like that take. I like look that at Rise of Ronin. It's needed. But they have smart shift technology in that console. So, right, it's meant to be able to move power from the GPU to the CPU to be able to push those frames. And That's I feel what like they tell you. Well, I was told SSD technology was isn't to give working us, as intended. I mean, that SSD cracking SSD was supposed to give us 8K 300 frames per second, but I mean, I, <laughs> it, I just don't understand you, why it's not. You know, these you know. they haven't updated the, the spec um, for the PS5 Pro on the SSD, right? It's gonna be it's gonna be at least a, a 10 gigahertz um, SSD speed. It's definitely gonna <laughs> cure cancer this time. <laughs> yeah, Reese making a pro model, but still lacking a roadmap. Um, I I'm just they may find the Xbox go ahead. For that with the Xbox One X. Oh, y'all ain't got no games to show the power. Sure did, sure Guess did, what? Gregory. Guess what? Y'all ain't got no games to show the damn power. <laughs> I really feel that. Um, this is what I feel. <clears throat> I, yeah, I, speak I, on I it. I do know that Tom Henderson and Inside the Gaming, they track record is pretty, pretty decent. It is. It is. So if this is true, <clears throat> I think it's. I, I, this is just my opinion. Yeah. I really feel that they're. I think they're. They're. They're making a mistake because this happened last generation. If y'all remember. We heard yes. rumors about the PS4 Pro. We sure heard did. rumors. PS4 Pro going to do this. PS4 Pro going to do that. And E3, June 2016, Xbox said, yo, we got Project Scorpio, which is the most powerful console ever. 
it killed PS4 Pro before it even came out, right? So now here we are again. We hey, we're hearing these rumors about the PS5 Pro and PlayStation guys like, yeah, it's gonna be the best place to play GTA 6, which it probably will be because it's not dropping on PC at launch. But what if Xbox comes out here <laughs> this year and say, yo, we got our our next generation console dropping uh, next year or even 2026, and, they, and people are gonna say, up. Oh, the PS5 Pro is already dead on arrival because it's only going to be the best temporarily for, you know, a year, just like right, the PS4 right. Pro was. You know what right. I'm saying? So uh, is it true? <laughs> I have no idea. But like I said, I do mm. think that Tom Henderson is pretty accurate with his, uh, his yeah. information. Yeah. But, I was making fun, but don't, I'm not actually – I'm not saying the specs – aren't correct. What I'm saying is uh, uh, Sony is doing some yeah. very good marketing and making it sound better than it actually is. Just hey, like, it's just a like TV manufacturers the, did the not same to thing. Cut you off. It's that? a few people in no. the chat saying Dirt sounds quieter. I'm not sure if that's still from the same volume it is earlier or if they saying he got quieter than what he was earlier. He sounds a, he sounds a little muffled. I sound yeah. muffled? Like quiet. Like, I don't know, like muted in a way? Like... I don't know. The impact of your voice doesn't sound like it's coming through as clear as like Nero and Retri and that. Um, it's weird. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. There's no way to turn yourself up them on ponies, your end. Is man, there? Them ponies, they don't want to see us be great. I'm, I'm full <laughs> blast on my end. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Some yeah, some people saying he sound fine, though. I, I see people in the comments. Okay, so maybe it's just, just on my end. end. Yeah, yeah hey, my, I, like I mean, I can hear him good, but... I like oh, what yeah. Asante said in the chat. Let's see. Let's see. My question is, why are people assuming that Xbox heard this news from PS5 and were blindsided? After all, all that, after all that, there is exactly the same as the PlayStation vendor. Yeah, they they know, bro. You oh know yeah, the X, Xbox no, knows. They know. They definitely know. Uh, they always. I, I think. I think it's fair to say that both companies always know when there was hardware involved that what kind of what's going on with with the other side. You know, I I I'm seeing a lot of people clamor for xbox to keep the power narrative and to clap back i don't know here's here's the thing like i, I know nero saying like they they need it because like something like final fantasy is is 30 frames but i don't i don't want it like i don't think a ps5 pro needs to exist when when these devs aren't utilizing what's right in front of them. that's why i wanted to walk back my stance because don't okay. give me shit when you're not utilizing what the fuck is in these consoles already. Right. That's like, why you're not shit. utilizing what's here already. Now, I understand the PS5 has RDNA 1.3. I get that. I completely understand that. Okay. You, you have the infant, you have a beta console. You know, they had to patch in VRS and VR. They had to patch in a lot of these features. You know, they had to. I never seen a console release that had to get patched in software support. You know, so I get it from that front. You know, it is the you know weaker console, and it has less 120 hertz games than the Series S. I'm, I say all that to say this: utilize what's in these consoles, man, please. Because if a PS5 Pro come out, I feel like Xbox might feel the need to try to, and I just feel like it's not needed. I feel like Pro consoles, this whole generation is just not needed. I feel like these consoles have barely scratched the surface. But yeah. then, yes, you turn around and you get some games that are coming out recently, and it's like. Mm, you know, it's, it's kind of like a mixed bag, you know, like with the uh, the Dragon's Dogma situation, you know, that mm -hmm. running at 30 and then, you know, um, it's just a lot of instances around here. But like I said, it all comes down to these developers just being lazy. And the more we just keep giving them more stuff to work with, the less they're going to use to work. You know, they're just going to keep putting out these half big games, man. Hey, um. Nero, you're absolutely right. Um, I feel last generation, the, the mid-gen refreshes made sense. Definitely. Because those two consoles kind of released kind of weak. Um, but like you said, you know, with COVID, everything like a year behind because of COVID, we really haven't mm -hmm. seen anything that really, I believe Hellblade 2 is going to be that but that's the game. thing, Dirk. The only games we're seeing that do look like they're utilizing the power is coming from Xbox. Yeah. Even Starfield. People can say what they want about Starfield, but mm -hmm. the fact that you can try, okay, you can bring up those loading screens, but dude, going galaxy to galaxy in a matter of three to four seconds while having yeah. global illumination, while running at native 4K, that's very impressive. Sony has yet to show anything like that. I'm sorry to you Final Fantasy fans. That that genre is niche. JRPGs is fucking ass, dude. I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> look, yep, 
Retro, you know how much I game, and I keep. I, keep I know. It, I'm not. I keep it. forcing myself to try that genre, dude. I'm sorry. I keep bro. doing it too. I'm I, having a tough time, like finding the one that breaks through for me. I'm trying to find that yeah, one. I'm not you know what I mean? Either. Um, I think I people are just a fan of the idea of JR. Yeah. <laughs> like, and, and I feel like a lot of people are forcing themselves to like it. Like, bro, I, I played probably about probably around 10 hours of Persona 3, and I'm like, okay, like th- this is what everybody is, but but I'm wrong for saying Starfield is my game of the generation. Not but you probably. nerds is jumping up and down about some blurry ass remakes. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's some just niche ad, it's just a bunch of fucking clicking through audios and text and it sucks. I'm sick of JRPGs. That shit is ass. He's not I've a fan. Niche. Somebody Play has Nino Cooney yeah. too. What an eighty game hour Pass. game with yeah. that? No. Maybe a twenty hour game max, but an eighty hour game with that? Mm-mm. Nah. That's not even doing all the side content. Yeah. Yeah. But, I'm sorry, let me say one more thing thing before you guys go. Nero says something, uh, I agree with what he said. <clears throat> PlayStation really, their first party hasn't really shown anything. If you think about it, their first party, with the exception of Ration and Clank, all of their first party games has been um, cross generation. Yeah. Unless I'm missing something. Am I missing anything? Ration and Clank. Uh, I know Eternal, when they made. Yeah, I guess. Eternal, well, they right. Were, but they didn't, they didn't own them. They, were when, not, they didn't own them. So right. Eternal, A lot Ration of people forget Clank. that. Fact, yeah. What other first party game is PS5 only? And and look, I, I, not only that, I want to say how, how many first party just, games from PlayStation have yeah. ray tracing support? I don't know. Oh, I don't you, know. At you, all. You, you, you keep remaking Five Last minutes. of Us, but you can't give me no GI, you can't give me no ray trace reflections. Like uh, Demon's Demon Souls game. was another one. Thank you, Joey. Demon's Souls remake is a remake. That's, but Demon's yeah. Souls is a remake of a PS3 I, I game. So it's, <laughs> I'm going like, to say it's cross gen. I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. I'm yeah. just gonna go. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's a that's a loosey goosey one. I don't know if we can count that one, but I appreciate you throwing that out there, Joey. <laughs> they did a great job with that game, though. Blue Point Studios. Um, yeah, fantastic job. What are they remake. doing? That's a damn I, good uh, they're question. They're working on something, Pro. and it has been porting? announced whether it's a new IP I or a, oh, a, okay. remake, IP. a remake. Yeah. But they are working on something. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Cyber I'm just going to add in my my two cents about these these leaks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the leaks 100%. that came out about the beginning of this this generation with the 13 teraflop PS5 was actually only 9.2 and 10.28 if it's overclocked. Um, I also just want to kind of point out that that could always be the the actual dev kit specs because, like it said, they mm. push it that way and then they can downscale it yes. um, to, to run on the system as they need mm. and test stuff out because yes. they need that bandwidth to be able to play around and further optimize for a lower spec unit. Um, I, I, I think, yes, they technically do need a pro for this gen, but I don't think it's worth the R and D and money that goes into it for this current generation because they don't have any games in the next couple of years that are going to be ready <coughs> to play on that unit as a brand new um, IP or new or sequel to another IP that's already out. You're just going to mm. get patch after patch to take advantage of the higher end software, and they're yep. probably going to charge you for that, like they did this gen yep. with the other games from the PS4. To PS5, and you got charged even though you spent your money PS5 on your hardware. Upgrade. Yeah, it nope. just it doesn't make sense. I would just stick with our hardware and do what Xbox looks like they're going to do is go with an early new early generation for the next Xbox, and the PlayStation does an early generation for the uh, PlayStation Six, and that's what I would do and focus on that and build up getting your games ready to launch on the PS6. Um, because right now mm. it's it's pretty it's pretty you, sad looking. You know at what? They were doing so well, and then they've just stalled at this point when it comes to game releases. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I, I I see, and and this might be you know it's time for next gen narrow conspiracy bag. I feel like they're releasing this <laughs> PS5 Pro right before GTA 6, just so they can say GTA 6 can be best played on the PS5 Pro. Yeah, a lot, like that's people, the only reason a lot of people are thinking that too. Yep. And it's going to be funny as fuck when the game come out and it's running at 4K30, just like it's running at 4K30 on every fucking console. Like, Rockstar is not going to give the PS5 Pro specific, like, hey, you know what? Let's make that version 60. They're not doing that. They're just not doing that. So I, I can see them. But like I said, man, 
it makes sense, but it don't make sense because the PS5 is underbaked. And when you really look at all their games, man, it's just you never hear the words native with PlayStation, right? You never hear yeah, native sure. 4K. The Xbox One. Dynamic 4K. Checkerboard 4K. Like, what the fuck is checkerboard? Like, yo, get the fuck, yo, these goddamn terms, boy, I tell you, man. Look, the it's Xbox how One. How they play 4D chess. They play chess on the checkerboards while they're playing their other games. <laughs> Look, right? <laughs> this is a fact. The Xbox One X, not the Series X, the Xbox One X has more native 4K games than the PS5. Ooh, and that's shit. a fact. Don't, people don't remember the Xbox One X whole thing was really being able to do 4K. So all these games on the Series X backwards compatibility, it's a whole program called the One X Enhancement Program. It's hundreds, hundreds of games, 360, Xbox One, even original Xbox games that got Xbox One X enhancements. Mm, right. Sure. So with that being said, you know, Sony, they definitely got to play catch up. But yeah. in order to play catch up, you need to have something to show. Like what the what game is you gonna use to showcase the power of that PS5 Pro? Is Listen, my question. Nero, that Foam shit gonna stars. be out a year. It's gonna be out a whole year. Then they gonna try to flex GTA Six. Like the shit ain't gonna be on Xbox. And right. people say it's gonna be the best place to play GTA. Uh, 6. Right. It might yeah. be, but guess what's going to be the cheapest play to, way to play GTA Six. And you know GTA exactly. is probably gonna be 1080p 30 on the S. A lot of people will be yeah. fine with that. Trust me. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, any more to uh, talk about the PS5 Pro? Um, I, I guess uh, I I might be alone here. I just I don't think it's necessary. I, I don't. I just wonder. Like I don't like the pattern. I, I don't know if I want a new upgraded system every four years. Yeah. Because absolutely. it just means more money to be spent. I know what's happened before. Uh, I've looked up the history it, it of Xbox only makes sense and these guys. The console generation is going to last for more than 10 years. Yeah. Well, you people, know, if I get halfway right. through this generation and then you give me some powerful shit, knowing five years from now the next generation is right there, it's like, what the fuck are we doing here? That's basically every five mm. years. At this point, every five years, you're upgrading your consoles. And at that point, go to PC. At that yeah, point. And agreed, agreed. And people talk about, well, the. Uh, cell phone market you upgrade every year or every two years it's like yeah. i ain't spending like thousands of dollars on games on a cell phone than i am on my console or any yeah. peripherals fun, fun or anything fact like that's that. that's plus, not happening anymore phones, though by the way cell phones. people right. are holding on to yeah. their cell phones way like now way longer right. than they ever have so even that is is going away a little bit for a yeah. lot of people yep. you know hey, let me i guess so. one thing about that there's one thing i didn't like about the xbox one x yeah and that was going to Nero's point. I only spent three years with it before the next generation yep. started. Right. That's my problem. I love that console, but I only spent three years. It was with a beautiful it. console, man. Love, great console. Too. I only spent three yeah. years with engineers it. is gods, bro. Like bro. they really yeah. make beautiful consoles, bro. Like yeah. even with the VCR Xbox One, I never ever heard my Xbox One fans. Never. You Dude, know, that even, thing was might have been huge and a beast, but dude that thing lasted forever like it was just it was built properly like not the 360 we all know the red ring of death <laughs> even at this moment my only complaint with the series x is how fucking hot it makes my room at times but that's a yeah. good thing because you want that heat out of your console you don't want it in anyway. right in a red ring of death situation you know and I'm that's just that, you know it's built amazing the yeah. only way to stay warm in winter, turn your Series X on. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I uh, uh, do you laugh, Panda? But I used to do that with my plasma TV. Oh, when I, I'm freezing I will room. be doing that Boom. in summer. It's awful. In <laughs> summer, Look, I'm, I'm like Buffalo, oh. New York, right? That's right near Canada. I've done that multiple times. Like I literally will leave my Xbox. I would, I would open up a game that's graphically demanding, that's really gonna get the Xbox to flow that heat, and I would just let it rock, man. I would just fall asleep with it on and just feel that heat all night, man. It's a little mini heater. Mm-hmm. But you know, I'm, some I'm, some consoles don't got demanding games to make their consoles heat up. So I mean, <laughs> I, oh. I'm of the mindset very similar to you, Richie, about the console. Anyway, like I'm also of the mindset with you, same as you there, Nero, around like the developers aren't taking advantage of the hardware that we've got now, and I right. don't think we need a next gen uh, or a mid gen refresh until they actually are doing that. And even the gaming engines are still being patched in to take advantage of the feature sets in this hardware 
Um, and developers, with the amount of upgrades happening each time a new GPU comes out and things like that, they're not able to keep up and learn to optimize for that. Um, and what you're seeing even on the PC end is um, the 4090, which should be destroying everything, isn't delivering on what it could be delivering because the engines mm-hmm. aren't taking advantage of it. The developers aren't able to optimize the way they should. And so th- some things do need to slow down a little bit in order for everything else to catch up. To catch up, and, right. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I agree. I like that comment. Uh, he said, I've, I've never heard the Series X spin up facts. I actually misread that comment. I thought he said, I've heard the Series X spin up, and I was going to counter yeah. that by saying, well, you know, when you're running games at native 4K, you know what I'm saying? Native. I haven't heard. I've never heard mine either, to be honest never, with you. Uh, ever, I, I have never heard my Xbox Series X. It was one game on my Xbox One X that was loud, that made my uh, Xbox One X make noise, and that was Red Dead Redemption 2. That's the only game yeah. I've ever yep. I heard my Xbox One X. But I you, you got to realize, Xbox. though, even with that being said, Grit, um, I mean, Dirt, my bad. Um, the the Xbox One X was the only console running Red Dead 2 at native 4K. Native yep. 4K, bro. Native you can 4K notice, noticeably see a difference between that, um, between the two. I'm That's just hoping true. that with all these acquisitions, with all of this uh, stuff, we stop seeing this parody clause um, coming through and we can actually start to see Microsoft pull a head around... Um, taking advantage of the features in the series consoles because we're not all those parody Mm. causes is screwing them over and then you get digital foundry doing these comparisons and the performance gains there should be larger performance games and differences between between the two company systems yeah yeah Yeah. but but you know what's crazy um what are people really expecting excuse me with the ps5 excuse me now with the PS5 Pro, what are right. people expecting? Because that's what I'm wondering. We're not going to see 8K 60. Like, what are we going to see? Oh no! Did they say anything about the CPU? Did those leaks say anything about the CPU? Nope. Uh, not that I have. Unless there was no, more stuff that came out. So, yeah, so I what don't... are they expecting? Like, what? Right. 4K. 60? I mean, shit. No, yep. You just said it right now. Right? Yeah, Bert, Bert, I look, know. They're, they're, it's expecting, to me. They're, they're expecting what we was promised and what we assumed yes. we was going to get. What, what we were we, supposed to get. What we were marketed, Nero, was, was that bullshit. We we even, from, from both sides, you know what I mean? Sides. It had 8K on the box, too, which pissed me off. Uh, I come from an well, engineering Xbox background. Didn't do that, Fourth, right? They didn't do that. They didn't do 8K. Four, no, they did. They did. It's on there. What? Uh, both. Is it? Yep. It's yep. It's on my box right now. I thought um, it was 8K streaming. Well, I, Sorry, I, I, I don't remember. It, it, it was. I think. I think it is 8K. But my, my point is, is you can't really trust a, a, any of the any of these guys. It might say streaming, but it definitely says 8K on both boxes. Um, you know, what I'm saying it's it's marketing. It's bullshit. It's the same thing that TV companies did with uh, contrast ratios. It was like a thousand to one, and all of a sudden it was fifty thousand to one because everyone was measuring it differently. So you've got to really watch watch out. It's it's the same thing that they're doing right now. PlayStation is doing it right now with their with the memory and ca- and counting memory in in MTS versus versus megahertz. Well, why? Because the number is literally twice as big because it looks better to people who don't know any better. You know what it's, I mean? It's why Mark Cerny came out with the PS4 Pro and was talking about the um, what's it called the half rate. I'll just read it off here. The um, 16-bit floating points, and then everyone was going right. 4.2, and they were saying it was like 8.4, and that made it more powerful. But no, that isn't reality when we actually saw that 6 was greater than 4 no matter what. Um, yeah. And so it's the same thing of why they put down 67 teraflops of 16-bit floating point. doesn't matter. It's still 33.5 at the end of the day. Absolutely. And they're just going to look at that top number and run with that. So I'm not saying that's bad. Like I'm not. I'm not here to say that these specs are bad. I think they're pretty good. Yeah. But I think people people are going, oh, this is going to be a this is going to be compared to a 47, 4070 the, or smoking crack. But like, the I don't specs know what that's you're in the consoles about. already is fucking pretty good and not being uh, utilized. That's my whole. Thing. That's that's I yeah. and that's where I agree with you. And that's what bothers me about this whole thing. I don't like. I don't want it to become like a cell phone thing. I don't want to have to spend because yeah. look. I like technology. I'm a sucker. I don't want to spend, you know, 
this could be six, seven hundred dollars for all I know. I don't want to spend that much every four fucking years. That's going to start to piss me off a little bit. Yeah. And if you're a multi console gamer, that's even yep. worse, right? You got to multiply by two or three. Well, two for sure, uh, two and a half if you're counting uh, the Switch. But I don't know. That's we- just me going off on a rant. Go ahead, Penn. Are we seeing the CPU multi threading being taken advantage? yet have they announced any games taking advantage because i know the beginning of the generation we had them um the cpu running and it wasn't multi-threaded um yeah and the way the games were built for that but i don't think we've had any announcement that the current gen games are which is why i think hellblade 2 is probably one of the games that are taking advantage of the multi-threading to get right. more out of the cpu to be able to deliver on what they're going to deliver um on the 22nd of may that I, that's a great question. I'm not sure, but now that you mentioned uh, Hellblade, let me uh, bring this. I think uh, K. Asante made a great said uh, unless they retired the PS5, the Pro would never get the attention needed to really show you the benefits. I absolutely, agree. I 100% agree with that. At that point, it. just put those resources towards a PS6. Like you know, mm-hmm. all they're gonna do is bump the resolution on it. Yep. Do you guys think that? Because I'm just like, this is Xbox then basically giving, letting them have the power for what sounds like two years, if if rumors are to be believed that Xbox will come out with their new hardware. Please be handheld hybrid. I I want them to do that, Retro, because it's like, let the PS5 Pro come out and then don't, don't, because right now Microsoft, they already said it's going to be the biggest leap. Whatever leap it is right now. It's probably going to be a huge leap over the PS5 Pro, but once the PS5 Pro come out and get officially announced, make it even a bigger leap than that. You know, double down. Sure. You know, just, just, I think just wait it out them. as well. I, I agree. I think yeah. wait it out. Let them be the guinea pigs um, maybe to this? But it, it pushes the devs now to really take as much advantage of the consoles that they currently have available to them. And so when they get access to the new ones, they'll be even better at optimizing. Listen, yeah, I, yeah baby. I find to talk about real gaming, real next gen gaming right here, baby. Hey, hey, can y'all hear Go me? Dirt. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, I got you. I feel that all Xbox has to do is announce their next generation console. Say, yo, it's going to be the most powerful console ever. That's all they got to do. But but they yeah. did though. No, yeah, but I'm talking about official. Official, like, yeah, like I official you. announcement. I got, you. I got you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying you. like on the stage because yeah, people, yeah. you know. It's, just, it's like this, but we have to be honest, man, because in today's gaming climate, we're already hearing about these budgets being crazy on these games, right? The budgets yeah. are out of control. Some of these game budgets are unsustainable. We're hearing all of this stuff, but PlayStation is about to drop some stronger hardware. What is that going to really do? What, what, like, not a damn thing. That's why that's K, saying. that's it's why K is right. Yeah, they're not going to utilize it wholeheartedly. Like, yeah. what is it really going to do? Yeah, resolution. What you know? What you, you know? What I feel like it. You know? you know what I feel like it is to uh, dirt is maybe like you. You give them so much damn power that these devs can't fuck it up, and maybe like the wor- the the worst devs that just can't do optimization for shit can maybe still reach four K. The problem with that scenario is you just had to pay seven hundred dollars to get that. Okay, that's hey, the, that's the f- cooking. You know. Uh, K. Santi hey. saying, "There's no way Microsoft doesn't know what's what's in the PS5 Pro right now." Get, yeah, hundred percent. After all, hundred percent. He's right. All, all, after all, they have to deliver uh, con- on PS5 Pro. Uh, absolutely, I bet Microsoft right. Activision already has dev kits. I mean, we heard in the rumors that dev kits went out uh, in January for this PS5 uh, supposed Pro. Uh, so, um, unless they're pulling up another Minecraft fucking thing. You yep. know, look, look, Ryan's out. So I think those days are when they're pulling that bullshit. I think th- those days are done where they're going to keep dev kits uh, for games, you know, be- just because they're Microsoft under Microsoft umbrella. So, yeah, well, I think he's right. They're going pushing games to PC, right? So. Yeah. Touche. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Especially yeah, if they're it's... outsourcing because they've only got what? Is it Nixon as the PC? Yeah. Is there a, I think it's yeah. Nixon. But if they're wanting to keep porting them where they are, they're probably going to have to outsource that to wider studios as well, yeah. outside of their um, first party. 
Yep. Uh, Sarah Bonds did say hardware announcements was coming this year. So she did say that. Yeah, she did. Can I say ahead, something? Dirk. What my yes, homie Joey Kraken, Phantom Kraken said. He said, "Yeah, I hate that we are talking about next generation when we haven't felt this gen yet. Yeah, devs are struggling with AAA. One hundred percent, one hundred percent, bro. No lie, so, dude." <laughs> I mean, that's why I wanted to talk about this because I 100% agree. I'm right there with Joey. Like, I hate, I hate this. Like, yeah, I'm okay yeah. with it's one thing like six years in to go to the next. Yep. I, I understand, I think, over time that the generations will, will close the gap a little bit and it'll be sooner. But, dude, four years, four years and, to Joey's and, point when they're not utilizing the tech that's under, under these machines right now is and, fucking annoying. And, and this thing ain't going to be 500 bucks. This is not going to be 500 I want to double bucks, down guys. and agree. I, I want to double down on that point, right? Especially because, okay, so the, the first console I ever bought with my own money when I graduated high school and started working was the Xbox One. The Xbox Series S and X is the first console I was able to own and buy day one, mm. ever. You understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So growing up in a household, I wasn't able to get the consoles day one when everybody got them. I was a, always a year right. late, maybe two years late. This is the first console generation where I was able to be there day one with my hard earned money and feel proud about it. So to see that these consoles generate, I mean, these four years flew by and, you know, we can blame COVID. It's just it just seems like we haven't. It's just seem to me. It just feel like we're still in the beginning. Mm-hmm. I even though we're not, you know, yes. I agree, bro. And like Hellblade 2 is, in, in my opinion, going to be the first game that visually blows us away. Yeah, yeah, yep. and but we're four years into the generation. Yes, everyone's gonna be years. reaching for those boxes of Kleenex when that game comes out. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, hey, yo, Panda, you know what I'm <laughs> Panda, Panda, I already listen. I did a video today about the PS5. I already got comments because I mentioned Hellblade in my video. Oh, it's gonna go to PS5 Pro. It's gonna be best on PS5 Pro. No oh, shit. You know, listen, it, 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 that's that's their narrative now. They're gonna say every game in is their go dreams. To- yes, they are in their dreams. They, <laughs> they wish. Well, I mean, I mean, go ahead, Ben. Heading heading back to like we look at um, the software. Well, not software. I guess software it is on the box and the specs of what was announced for the Series S and the Series X and what they put into those consoles. You look at it and there was longevity in there around being able to um, upscale and also be smarter around the rendering and, and such. And so you looked at these and were like, okay, we should be fine with this 12 teraflop unit for the whole generation yeah. because built in um, things to take advantage of upscaling techniques and like kind of brain dead today um and such so you knew it's all that mowing the lawn that, you were doing <laughs> yeah basically all that mind power um well the grass in my lungs um yeah. <laughs> like i looked at that and i was like okay you look at um fsr and everything Ooh, else that's, in there, the that's architecture um all of the stuff in the hardware and you were like okay well i have no issue it isn't like they've cut us um, off at the knees like they did with the Xbox One generation and we specifically required a mid-gen refresh um, because you've got the Series S and then you've got the X if you wanted the power and so you knew right. that this was going to get you through to the end of the generation but the PS5 was sort of somewhere in between and kind of undercooked and it should have been more in line with the Series X yeah. but yeah. it didn't quite hit Agreed. that mark and so I see why they're asking for a Pro but I'm still of the mindset of we still haven't seen what the PS5 Pro can, I mean, and, the and PS5 Panda. can actually do with the Smart Shift technology mm-hmm. yeah sorry maybe, nah, may, maybe, right. maybe they made the PS5 under bake because they knew they wasn't going to have any games they knew they was going to under deliver on games this generation so they said <laughs> why over deliver on power when we're going to under deliver on games it makes no sense you know for yeah, Microsoft you know, it makes sense to go hard for all this power because they have the games on the horizon and this is prior to the ABK deal Right. Um, we had yeah. a plethora of games long before that ABK deal got announced. You know, who was the, um, so who was the head of gaming before um, 
that was in charge of the games right up until <sighs> on last generation on Xbox's side before the money kind of stopped and then we had that Feel. massive dry spell last gen <laughs> and then Microsoft came in and like actually supported don't, don't them. Tell the truth. Was the head of gaming during the uh the Xbox 360 generation. You were what supposed it? to lie, Dirt. <laughs> Some yeah, but guy. like he left. <laughs> oh, was... It was one of those questions. I'm sorry, my bad. Disregard my <laughs> But like I look at that and I go, you saw sort of what ha- had been happening um, for, during the 360 up into the beginning generation of the Xbox One and then the money stopped coming in. Um, you kind of look at that with Sean Layden leaving and he kind of looked after the gaming side of things and then as soon as he left all the games that he was in charge of for the development have kind of reached their life cycle and have released and everything else coming under jim ryan has sort of just pitted out and died there wasn't a really good crossover making sure Mm. that playstation had a lot of coverage for games and a release cadence and it kind of feels like that's what happened to xbox during last gen but now they've got a release cadence because they've got the developers they've got the money they've got the support um and it feels like playstation sort of on the back foot where xbox was last generation when they had no games um Mm -hmm. yeah this is a good comment right here i just i gotta bring this this one up um dragon wolf didn't Microsoft agree to parity for COD between console? So is that parity with Series X even on PS5 Pro? That would be funny. Hey, hey, oh, please. That would be got hilarious. He's got a point, <laughs> y'all. That, that, uh, they did have a parity clause. <laughs> yeah, they did. Yo, that's, that's funny. kind of funny. You, you, you're you not getting any extra frames, motherfucker, because I guess the Series X will be holding you back, suckers. Yeah. I don't know. He brings up a very good <laughs> point, though. I love it. Parody yeah, with the Series S while the Series X is just smashing. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine? Oh my God, I would no, love that. Funny. That but would be know, great. If you think about the Xbox One X, the only thing it had over the PS4, PS4 Pro, it was resolution. The frames were usually the same. Maybe a yep. few games had better frames. Sure, but you know, so I'm thinking this is might this might be the same thing. But at the same time, most Xbox. Series X games are already 4K. So it's like, are they going to 8K? I doubt it. I, I, no <laughs> I doubt way, it. dude. No way. I, I just right. can't I just can't see that being being a real, reality. Like yeah. I don't know what I, to expect. Yeah. That's the thing, is like it like specs can be exciting and you know it's it sounds cool, but y'all, we gotta learn our lessons, guys. Like we, we're literally going through it right now. You're going to fall for it again? Like, let the games come out and see if they're actually utilizing any of this bullshit that they're talking about. All, all the flops, all the RAM, all the, you know, uh, proprietary uh, super resolution bullshit that they're doing, which, by the way, is absolutely asinine. I can't believe they're they're doing a super resolution that is just for, for that system. Maybe I just don't understand it enough, but I know Microsoft this month is, is doing something for DLSS and FSR, to make the coding easier for all developers. So there's one code to rule them all. So you don't have to code three times over for, for tech between uh, NVIDIA um, and all these different companies. That's a fucking Except smart move. That is that's AI. That's, yeah. yeah, that's dev friendly. What this is sounds like it makes it harder and almost like another skew, another spec for people to make the game for. Like, I don't understand why you would do that unless you were so confident in yourself that you're just going to roll over Xbox that you would do something this stupid. I, I don't understand. And maybe I'll have to have someone like Kaysante on this podcast to talk to me like a five-year-old to explain to me why the fuck they would do something like that because that sounds like the biggest bonehead move uh, yet, in my opinion. Um, but, uh, yeah, any any other uh, points that you guys want to make? We could talk about – we got Hellblade 2 up here looking real sweet. Senua looking Saga. amazing. I was, just had look, to just change my pants. Looking beautiful, mm-hmm. uh, as always. You guys looking forward to uh, – Hellblade 2 when it comes out, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. Did you see did you see the zoomed in shot? Someone like, you know how you've got the screenshot of you looking to the uh the mm-hmm. bottom one on the bottom um right. Yeah, bottom right. Someone yeah. did a zoom in of just the eye and you could just yep, see the see, fidelity yeah. in the eye with all the veins, yep. and I was like, damn. Xbox quality, baby. Hey, you when you can dig into that trillion dollar wallet, you can do 50, things like that. 
fifteen right. million dollars to make this game. Yes, they've got. Um, is that what the budget is? The studio I don't even know the budget. F- Are you serious? Mi- that ten is- million was on the first game. Fifteen and, million on this one. And Tommy, oh, y'all should be a hell. fucking shame of yourselves, so man. Say 50? Well, that's why it's an eight-hour experience. Wait, did you say fifteen or fifty? One five. That oh, is really? insanely that's well. Insane. I know the yo, yo, Dirt, you see what I was saying? That's what that yo, right, this is what I was saying. Passion. Passion yeah. Yeah. makes great games. Not, not the yeah. fucking budget. Yeah, and this studio is filled world. with that, dude. Look at yeah, Hell Divers. Like half the budget. Even Skyrim budget wasn't as huge as some of these. Like it's the passion in these games, man. You They're know, I'm about- always support games that are passion projects to developers over money mm-hmm. projects. And that's why I love Microsoft because I feel like they they devs can go to them with these ideas. That's how you get games like South of Midnight. Yes, right, exactly, right, brother. Hundred percent. Right. That's, that's, that's how you get these these games, these random games that just get thrown into the mix that comes out. Uh, games like Pentiment, right? Yep. Pentiment isn't doing shit graphic wise, right? Probably costs less than a couple million to make, but it's okay. a banger. From, yep. from from what I hear from people I trust, I'm not gonna pretend. I'm not one of them guys. <laughs> Rounded that, as I a passion project. I'm saying, I ain't play that shit either, Retro. I ain't about to cap. But I didn't. I didn't. I got I people didn't even in the chat right now. People I, opinions I trust. The homie Reese, he he loved. Yeah. It. You know, so it's like, just I, I I want devs to go back to putting pat look right, Robocop again. That's another one. It's a passion. Mm-hmm. Like these Love games have passion in them, and then you got games like Immortals or Avian. That it's no passion, <laughs> right? You got games like Rise of Ronin. It's no passion. You know, you got games like Stella Blade. It's Stella it's, Games. It's no passion, but, you know, she looked good. You know, I mean, I'm not going to take that from her. But, yeah. We're that's behind that game. Let's stop. That's where the rendering is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Absolutely. But, but don't, don't forget. Go, go ahead, Gregory. With Hellblade, don't forget, like Panda said, you know, the first game cost $10 million. Uh, 20 people worked on that game. Hey. Right. They confirmed yeah. 40. They said double the people was working on part two. Which was I had to be 40, like 40 or a little bit over 40. And I still feel that Hellblades 2 formula of what they're doing, which is a <clears throat> a triple A game on a double A budget, right? Yeah. A triple A quality game, I should say, on a double A budget that's not 20 hours long, eight to 10 hour experience. I really feel. Yes. You're you're going to see more games like Hellblade, which is a game that looks pretty. It looks beautiful, yes. but it's not going to be 20 hours because they yes. get these budgets now. Single player games are not going to stop, but they're going to nope. try to think of a way to continue them because not every studio wants to do a game as a service. We've seen yes. uh, games where they tell a single player studio, "Yo, do a game as a service." Then we get factions, we get the Avengers. Suicide mm-hmm. Squad. Those studios are known as yeah. single player studios. And you're telling them do a games as a service. No, yeah. we're still going to get single player games. I just feel they're going to be shorter experiences. Just which, which is okay. I, which I is hope okay. that is. I want fine. that so bad. Yeah. But, uh, amen. So I can actually finish the damn yeah. game. Look, right. I'm 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 twenty. I'm, I'm twenty five, <laughs> man. Right, and I know you guys is older than me, but I'm 25, and I'm fed up with all those overly long ass thousand question mark ass games. Like, I love that you said that experience because at yep. the end of the day, I get not every platform has live service games, but when you have a platform that has games that give you those addictions, like you know, Overwatch, a Call of Duty, a Halo, those mm-hmm. games you keep going back to. You can't put 20 hours in the Halo a week. And twenty hours into a single player, it doesn't work like that. Exactly, Nero. You need that's that's what I was saying games. earlier. Yes, yeah. exactly. That's which, that's what which I was is say. what. Yeah, which is what Game Pass is so damn good for. And yep. when I heard when I heard that this game was shorter, I was like, "Thank you, baby Jesus!" I was so happy because I did I didn't have to have another Valhalla type of experience. Oof. I, I'm just I'm just tired of these uh, games. They're long, they're it's too much. Yeah. It's too much. You are trying to listen, devs. If you're fighting for our dollars and our time, then don't make, make it fun. so ridiculously long. Like you really don't have you don't have to do that. And on top of that, they priced it accordingly mm-hmm. because it's not going to be bucks. seventy bucks, is yeah, it? Fifty dollars. Absolutely, and if you're that was the like, right thing to do. Which is insane. If you're only like half the yes. panel has got ADHD and it's like, I'm bored, what do I play next? <laughs> it right. took yep. me t- 
two years to complete Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh, it's insane. Yeah, look, they got, go. cross, they got cross progression on Valhalla. So I'm picked up where I left off on my PS4 Pro, on my which I already put like 60 hours in over there. Dude, I don't even know where the hell I'm at and how far I'm into the game. It's just like, yo, yeah. this is just too much game. And uh, some games does that well. You know, it's games that does it well, like a Witcher or a, a, a Starfield and even a Skyrim, right? Where it's like the game is so good, you get lost. You're not worrying about, am I coming up on the end? You actually want to avoid coming up on the end. But with Assassin's Creed, after a while, it's like, yo, I just want to run these credits. I just want to just finish this shit. The story. Yeah, I just want to finish something. I finished Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It took me 180 hours. Now, I was doing oh, something wrong. Yeah. But it took me a You were super playing long it, time. right? That was what you were doing wrong? How you <laughs> he said, she said you were just playing it. That's what you were doing yeah, wrong. I was just, no, I was just playing it. And, and I wasn't doing the main missions. That's so damn. Yeah. Because so it, it tricks you. Because it tricks you in thinking you're doing the main mission yeah, when you're fucking not. So then right. I realized I had to, oh, I go to that house over there and do the main. So <laughs> I finished it. But I will tell you this Assassin's Creed Mirage, they yeah, did, loved it. It was much shorter. Yep. It was like, but And linear. So I, I enjoyed that too, man. Was, and, and I liked it. Yeah. There, I, I actually found yeah. myself doing a lot of side activities yeah. in, in, in Mirage. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, when I heard Mirage was going linear and not going like full blown open, I was like, yeah. "Yes, thank you, like, like bring it back." Too much, man. It was too much. But yeah. I enjoyed the game. It was just too damn long. Oh yeah, it's a be- it's beautiful game. It yeah. plays great. Like not a bad game, just too much of a commitment. And that is the thing. You're you're asking for these people's you know your time, and it's just too much. I think this day and age, too many games. Origins, right? You had Origins, which was a great pilot cleanser from the. Uh, previous assassins then you had odyssey and then you had another really long assassin's creed game and mirage just came in and was like yeah we're gonna make it more like mirage is such a refreshing uh, a refreshing so nice and refreshing i agree um but even like a plague's tale shorter experience i love that game game. yes that's a great that is a great example yeah that's why you're on the show Great example. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I mean, truth be told, you could arguably name a lot of first party Xbox games that like none of the Gears of Wars overstayed their welcome as far as the campaign. Yeah, they didn't. I mean, yeah. five might have had their moments where it's like, okay, I don't want to do, but it's all optional. And I think that's what Cyberpunk did very well. As in Cyberpunk main story can be beaten in about 10 hours, give or take. But yeah. if you want to do all the side things and flush out the story, it's a easily a 70, 80 hour game, 100 hours easily. And I think that Ubisoft could learn that from now on. Give us a, a 10 hour straight A to B mainline story and let that be done. But and then let sure. it, if we want to spend 100 hours in that world, OK, let that be there. But don't force us because I feel like with Valhalla, you're forced to just deal with so much bloat, man. And it's like yeah, so much. it's not, you know, it's Ubisoft. Bloat, man. It's, yeah, that's their that's their forte. I see. I see. Yobi was saying so. Val- Valhalla was too damn long, but nobody was saying that about Starfield. I got. Listen, I was a little scared. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was. I was kind of one of those people when they're like a thousand planets. I, I kind of went fuck. Like inside. Man, that's too much. Like, that's a lot, dude. That is a lot of planets. Yeah. You know, but I'm okay with a game going out of their way to be. The one off, right? But I yep. sure as shit don't want everyone to try to be Starfield. Like, right. but you look at the map and you thing. didn't have yeah. question mark after question mark on the map on the gal. Like, the only the question mark is the question mark in your head. Yeah, you could you could yeah. mainline everything on that, and you could ignore anything that you wanted. Whereas, very true. When you yeah, it, it was just a experience where you get to do whatever you want. Here's the story, but we have these faction quests. If you don't go explore these places, then you don't go see it. But when you go to like an Assassin's Creed game and you've got the, um, uh, what are they called? The Eagle. I can't think of what they're called today. Um, the fast travel points. I can't think of what they're called. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the leap of faith locations (laughs) that I can't think of what they're called. Um, but, once you do that, it expands the map, and then you see all the little things on it. And we, mm-hmm. me with my ADHD brain, is like, oh, I have to Dang. like everything's a little distraction yeah. to me. Dang. Whereas when I look at the Starfield map, yes, I've got these planets, but I don't know what's in there, all those it's galaxies, your, your or anything like that. So I can completely ignore it and mm-hmm. go 
focus on what I want to do. Um, and it's much easier for me to mainline Starfield than it is for me to mainline an Assassin's Creed game. Yep. I agree with that. I agree with that sentiment. And Jedi Peter Knight, um, Elden Ring was crazy uh, big too, but I love every minute uh, of it. And it. when it was over, I wanted more 100%. And that's why I'll be getting the DLC. And I don't get DLC very often. I'm too cheap. I usually move on to the next game. Elden Ring, I loved it so See, much. Uh, uh, just speaking of Elden Ring, I've this DLC. That, I, I could have been the Elden Ring, but I, I just refuse to be one of those persons that look up an OP ass build and run through the game. I, I want to just like struggle oh, and see, get there natural, oh. man. Oh, Nero, I tell you right. <laughs> maybe it's because I'm old. I love going on the internet and other people tell me how to, I should play because I probably would have given up on that game. I'm, I'm just telling hey, the I'm truth. I'm not going to lie. Hey, I, hey, 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 I'm about to join yeah. you before the DLC drop. <laughs> fuck it. I'm about to get through that shit. And then when I get the DLC, it'll be different. Like, hey, fuck it. I, I struggle now, but. For I anyone just, having issues with Elden Ring, I suggest using magic and staying the fuck away from anyone. Very, you don't have to parry. There's none of that bullshit. Just, just you know, give them a little Hogwarts legacy action. Hey, hey, that's kind of that's the build I got going on now. But I, I forgot the, the, the name of the guy I ran into, man. Uh, that he shut all that shit down. That magic shit I've been trying to do. This motherfucker starts shooting legendary arrows and shit at me. I'm like, yeah, Yo, still a hard game. No matter what, no matter what you choose. Elden Ring okay. is a game that you want to spend lots of time in. It's absolutely punishing, but the exploration, it doesn't it's hold beautiful, your hand. You though. get to do whatever you want. That is exactly what it was like for me when I was experiencing like Dragon's Dogma for the first time. And I think that, like Dragon's Dogma 2, I'm going to spend so much time in that game. Um, and then I've got a nice palette cleanser in May because I'll still be playing Dragon's Dogma 2 in May where I can just play Howlblade 2. You know, it's, nope. I don't have to spend hours and upon hours and upon hours in Hellblade 2, whereas I know I'm going to sink a hell of a lot of time into Dragon, Dragon's Dogma 2, and that's a nice balance mm -hmm. of those style of games. Yep, yep. Um, Yeah, because I'm playing Dragon's Dogma 2 for the gameplay. Yes, there's going to be story, but it's the gameplay and that fun rinse and repeat game loop that you've got. Hellblade 2, yep. much more mainstream uh, yep. around the story. Yeah. Yeah, very true. Um, yeah, shout out to you, Peter, 100% on the magic. Um, yeah, uh, I think we'll probably, well, let me, let me get this out there real quick. Um, just because I just wanted to ask this question to everyone in the, everyone that's watching and everyone on the panel, I was curious, and then we'll get to the, we're, we're wrapping up here, but curiosity, not fanboy and bullshit. Uh, I'm just curious. Do you guys think Dragon's Dogma 2 is going to outside outsell Rise of the Ronin because it is dropping on the same exact day. A thousand and I'm, percent. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of hype for Dragon's Dogma too, man. It's and I'm not too, seeing right? I'm not seeing that same hype. Did, did you see someone had spent 27 hours just in the character creator <laughs> on Jesus, Dragon's no, Dogma that. too? 27 oh, hours, mofo? and I was like, damn, the game isn't even out yet. Wow, wow. Damn. Shout out yeah, to whoever I, just sent to us. I, I don't have that setting on on this. It's the <laughs> smartest marketing ever. Appreciate you. Release the character creator before the game launches. Get people in there yep. um, doing that. And then they don't waste that time and they can just start yep. the game day one. But that was great advertising. I love that. I 100% think it's going to outsell because like we all just spoke about, right? Um, I've been watching some of the Rise of Ronin uh, previews from, pre you know, impressions from YouTubers I like, like, you know, Skill Up and ACG and all of them, right? Yeah. They're all saying it has that Far Cry Ubisoft aspect of clear this town, liberate this town. Do they not think we as gamers is tired of this shit? Yeah. Mm. Because at this point, you got to realize you're not selling Rise of Ronin and, and Dragon's Dogma to kids. They're going to be on Fortnite. They're going to be on these free-to-play games. You're selling this to people my age and up, 20 and up, most, you know, most likely, right? So it's like we've been playing the same fucking formula for so long. We're tired of it, bro. We don't want that shit no more. And this is coming from Xbox guy that I, I will play Rise of Roni. If I yeah. had a PS5, I would get it and play it. But man, it's like, bro, y'all gotta think outside the box, bro. Like that Ubisoft formula is one of the worst things that happened to the gaming industry, man. <laughs> Should have gone hey, with uh, that Hellblade formula. So let yeah, me say this. Right. You, uh, <laughs> so are you asking us, will Dragon's Dogma outsell Rise of Roni on PlayStation? Or are you talking about this overall? Because it is a multi-plat. Yeah. 
Uh, I think it'll outsell that's a, that's that's a good on question. PlayStation only. I like. Yeah, I, 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 think I think so, so too. too yeah. Yep. yeah, I think so too. Uh, I'll, I think we'll go with that. I think that's the better. I think that's the better question. Yeah. yeah, I think on its on its own platform. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think that's yeah. fair. I think I it outsells it there question. too. Yeah, I do. Too. Yeah, it's it's definitely evens it out. So and, I and I, I think it outsells it three to one. Oh, Ooh, minimum. It's damn. Added minimum. bonus that. Damn. And it's Minimum. got the added bonus that it's a, a sequel, right? So people are familiar yep. with the old IP are hyped for this one, whereas Rise of Ronin, yes, they might be familiar with um, Team Ninja's previous games, but you don't 100% know what you're walking to in that IP or that world. Yeah. Whereas you know what you're walking into in Dragon's Dogma. It's just on steroids at this point. Yeah. Yep. 100%. Big Map Mo says Rise of Ronin looks like shit and Wo Long. Uh, what was his comment? Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Long, no, you're good. Is is the better ninja game. And I'm not here to. I Dude, I love, love Team Ninja. Like, I, where's my Ninja Gaiden? Where the fuck is Who it? Who did Neo? Uh, you know. Was that, that was them. That was them. That, yeah, that was Team Ninja. Yep. Yeah. yeah, they make great. They make great they, games. They make good games. I, I like. Um, what's the name of the game you just said? Yeah. Neo. 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 Yep. Yeah. Neo. I like Neo. Yeah. I actually love Neo. One and two got the physical editions for the PS4 Pro, but it's like, man, they they go it. But it's like, man, it's just like in this time, and and I think actually, I think they that specific studio would have been better having a linear, cutback scale game versus trying to go to open I world. Agree. I'm not yep. saying they can't do it, but it's just like. Is it really needed in this moment in time? But I guess for PlayStation, it is needed because, I mean, they can take whatever they can get at this point. They, I mean, just throw them in. <laughs> yeah, throw throw them us in. a bone. Throw them a bone, man. They need Give all us the your Sea of Thieves. Arrgh. Yeah. I, I can't wait to see what that Metacritic's going to be like if they're going to, if there's people going to actually. Because oh, you know, uh, people who are reviewing it, who reviewed it originally when it launched on the Xbox, when it was very much a stripped back, bare bones game. I think they and fucked up by making it fully PlayStation exclusive, mm. to be fair. I think Rise of Ronin would have done really well if it was on all platforms. No, for sure. They paid for it because they needed some exclusive. Yeah. They needed yeah. something. Yeah. That's the same yeah. reason they paid for Stellar Cheeks. Yeah, still a game. I, I think yeah. I think Gritty. Shout out to my brother Gritty, by the way. I think he hit it on the head. I'm glad they're being ambitious, but they're way out of their depth. 100%, yeah, hundred percent. Was, was the next thing you were gonna say after Stella Peaches was I could eat a peach for hours? <laughs> <laughs> I love peaches, that movie. Peaches, I love peaches, that peaches, movie. I love peaches. The face looks oh, such a good movie. <laughs> I think. So. I feel like they made Stella Blaze specifically for me. Like, how can we get Nero to be? <laughs> and go support a PlayStation. <laughs> Give them ass. We'll get them and a lot sim- of it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, get you them got all me. the booty. <laughs> I mean, you can't you can't argue with those jiggle physics. They're there and they're and they're looking good. So uh Lyric asks, is everyone on the panel going to have Dragon's Dogma 2? And if so, can they please get those pawn names to use in their games? Uh yeah. I won't I, be there yeah. day one, I'm but eventually it. I'll be there. I'll be there day yeah. one. I think I'll probably be um, there day one too. If any of you fuckers in the chat want to support and uh you know throw me that, you know, big gift, you know what I mean? Yeah, hook me up. <laughs> yeah, me up. yeah I, I think uh, I think I'll be there. Dur, are you interested in Do- Dragon's Dogma 2 or are you uh skipping that one? Uh I never I think you're I think you're one, okay, but there you go. if it you know it looks okay. I'm oh hey, can you hear me? No, I yeah, get yeah. you now. You're good, yeah, yeah. you're good. Um, I might check it out I, after looking at the reviews and seeing what type of game it is. I might check it out. It depends, you know. I'll let you know if it's any good because um, I'm still going in of the mindset I've played the first game. I'm curious at what the level cap is, so because the level cap in the first game was level uh, 200, and I got Damn. up to like Ooh. 100 and That's something. High. Yeah, because uh, yeah, it had so much replayability in it. Um, uh, so I'm interested to see what the level cap is in this one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jedi Knight it is a lot of fun. I do wish, though, the only thing I really wish, though, was the option to do play multiplayer. And when you didn't want to play multiplayer, you just bring in your friends' pawns, but you mm-hmm. can actually all be in the same world together. That's the only thing that they're missing off this game. Um, sure. Yeah. Other than that, I think it's going to be it's going to be great. If you like just getting um your ass handed to you by monsters this is the game oh super yeah just like elden yeah. ring all right i guess i'm in yeah cool. <laughs> i just wanted to highlight jedi knight peter too he said uh, i don't get it 
Team Ninja finally brought a game to Xbox and they did incredibly well talking about Wulong Dynasty. Yep. Why did it go yep. back exclusivity? I, I agree. I agree. I, I agree at with some that. point in time, these devs got to realize, yes, those checks from Sony is good, but at what cost? Right, right. Your, your long, your long term longevity. longevity. Exactly. Yeah. Like, did Team Ninja need the bag that that badly? Like, I, I don't that's know. That's what I'm saying. And it's like, it, if Sony got fucking dark secrets on the entire industry. The reason, like, Square maybe. Enix and the rest of these people, yeah. like, like, come on, man. I mean, they might with the things that the PlayStation higher ups was doing. You feel what I'm saying? I, yeah. I heard it. Hey, True. a couple of them was at that Epstein Island. It came out. It's in the news. <laughs> I'm not making this up. I it's know, people either. running that company. It, it's, it's really sick people running that company. <laughs> You know, yep. you rarely see any women in position of power over there. And if you do it, like, who do you see? Who the fuck runs PlayStation? You don't you don't see anybody in positions of power over there. But you come over to Xbox. Xbox is an American company and it represents America because you see straight up die fucking pot, baby. Hundred percent. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. That's why that's I do not we, respect that's you. What we wanted on this you panel are American yeah. and you are anti Xbox. I'm a diversity. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I need it. Look, yo, you're literally from the land of Hobbits. So I'm counting you. I'm counting you. Shit. Oh, shit. They said the Epstein place, the Epstein Station 5. Epstein Station 5. Yeah. Hey, uh, that's shit. shit. Or you can watch your porn hub. We'll the ES5 is crazy. Oh, uh, shit. The Epstein Station. Oh, I love it. All right. We're, we're going to we're gonna end on, on this little ditty that my, my buddy Silent Cypher, uh, cut out from this podcast he he shared it with us so let me uh share that this tab so we're gonna go go, go out on kind of kind of like uh dirt does his like piece of shit uh person of the week um y'all didn't think i was gonna not do something like that did you right come on now look, yeah, look come at on the now come on, come on. Where, where are you, you at <laughs> where are you at yeah Press X Let's, to Dell, uh, Yes, it's going to be, yes. It's press X to Dell is going to be, uh, I will make a little intro jiggly wiggly uh, thing for this. But for now, you're just going to have to uh, just listen to this horse shit. Let me make sure uh, when I play this, guys, that you can hear it because, you know, I've had technical difficulties. But here you go. And it's, yeah, hold on. I think it's muted. Are you guys hearing it? Because I'm, even I'm not hearing it. No, we can't hear it, no. Son of a bitch. All right, hold on. Uh, Let's see. Let me stop sharing and then reshare. Maybe we'll do it. Oh, technical difficulties. All right, let me try that again. Let's see. I I know most of you know exactly what what this is. Uh, Let's see. Where is it? Layers. Share screen. (coughs) Cypher. Uh, while he get that ready, man, make sure y'all yeah, yeah, please yeah. hit that like button. Please subscribe, man. Subscribe to everybody in here. Uh, Dirt, he got his own page. Make sure you sub. Yes. Great content creation. Extremely funny, man. Thank you. Bro. Retri, as you see the channel right here, subscribe. I got my own YouTube channel for you fuckers that didn't know that already. Uh, <laughs> make sure you go subscribe. <laughs> make and sure it's, you subscribe. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's down below, so you guys should find Every, it. Everything the, is down uh, below, man. Um, while that's loading, while you're looking at Retreat, I just wanted to quickly just add to uh, those who, if they do want to use any of the porn characters on Dragon's Dogma 2 from us, all you need to do is really add us on Xbox, um, yep. and you should be able to yep. get free access to our, our characters. when you We do not hide gamer Dragon's tags. We actually game over here. Uh, <laughs> my gamer yep. tag is Marley TV. man. Get at me. Interesting. Yo, that's yo, the I don't know why I'm so I angry, have. man. <laughs> <laughs> it's the jrpg conversation from earlier all right i'm still mad about that i'm tired of people holding jrpgs like there's some industry gold standard they fucking suck all right <laughs> he is not They're a niche. fan of those all right i don't know what the hell's going on with the audio here hold on guys bear with me uh well this are is you the on less the is more scene? comment, right? This is the less Wait. is more. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Richard, are you yeah. meant to be streaming this off YouTube, or if it's, is it off the? No, Twitter I, one? I, I was, I was doing it off of, uh, t- off of the Twitter one, and for some reason, I unmuted Wait, everything. If you it's click just on not... that Twitter one, will it load up YouTube, and then you can? Because I'm pretty sure it had the point straight to YouTube. Yeah, YouTube hold account. on. Let me, uh, let me try that. I don't know if it's going to double up the audio on this, but let me, yeah, let me try that. I'll bring us into the next scene. So let me see. Uh, 
might have to add people in this one too, but let's go. Oh, all right. Oh, you're good. good. All right, let me try it. Let me try this shit. Uh, technical difficulties, of course. Let's see. Uh, let's Ooh, see. Halo. Yeah, you know, Season yeah, that's finale what I was, next week. That's what I was experimenting with. Yep. I, 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 I'm loving this show right now. All right, let's see. I need let's season eight, this. episode eight right now, and I need season three announced. <laughs> All right, let's see if it works. Let me know if it doubles up the audio, they guys. Will annihilate we... humankind. I don't know why it's playing Don't's that. It's literally playing a complete different God. video. It's this not is playing that. How many? Uh, that is <laughs> fucking Halo. weird. Yeah, it's playing the Halo one. That's not what I put into the uh, URL. It's doubling oh, up that's... on audio, by the way. I was doubling up on audio? Shit. Yeah. All right, well... Screw that right now. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, uh, no, no surprise that we'd have technical difficulties. Is Richard but... muted? Oh, okay. Uh, am I muted? Okay. No, no, no. Let me bring us back and I'll just, I'll just tell you, uh, we'll just tell you what happened. Basically, most of you already saw this anyways, but basically uh, my buddy Colin, uh, one of my favorite targets, uh, because I just, I just don't like the guy. Um, was saying that on his Sacred Symbols podcast that it's not a big deal that, uh, that uh, PlayStation doesn't have a lot of games because Colin says sometimes less is more. It's good to just have an awesome banger game come out and have a bunch of games. And I just wanted to talk about that just for a second. Your, uh, your thoughts uh, uh, on Colin uh, on our way out and how I think that is complete and utter bullshit. Uh, Yo, the the amount guys, of gymnastics and bending over these guys do for Sony to just somehow find a way to defend them and and try to somehow turn every L into some type of positive win is fucking mind-boggling. Like, I salute that, bro. Like, I, I, I salute it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I've spoken like a true non-gamer, by the way. Yes. Yeah. What do you? What do you? What do you? Uh, we want to add some add something to this uh, dirt with Colin's uh, <laughs> comments about less is more BS. Yeah, he didn't say that when the Xbox was dry. Facts. Either either did Xbox guys. So that the difference between Xbox what's the difference between complain. me and you? We call we call them out. I said making fucking excuses in two thousand twenty two. So two thousand twenty two Xbox. Even Phil Spencer said them having no first party games in 2022 is unacceptable. Yep. They have to yep. do better. PlayStation first party is dry as hell. <laughs> they just don't Sahara have Desert. anything. They don't have anything. So nope. we've seen articles. PlayStation not having any games, first party games is good. Yep. I seen like they said they justified that article saying PlayStation not having any first-party games until at least April 2025 is a good thing. They said that because this is giving them more time to focus on... That's because someone sent them a jar of Vaseline so they could handle the chafe. Absolutely. Yeah, but hold on. Why did, why did they say that was good, though? Dirt? Let them finish article, what, yeah. They were yeah. trying to say because that gives the developers more time to to know the hardware, to yes. get more out of the hardware. I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Dumb as fuck. Dumb I never heard. Ever. I never seen that when Xbox didn't. When Xbox had a slow period, four years ain't said, enough. Apparently, a conversation about the tools bullshit. now. Xbox doesn't have any games. Xbox is uh, they're failing. Now, Kyle Moriarty is saying less is more. Oh, the my backlog less is, less. is too crazy right now. <laughs> what? Uh, dude. Are you kidding me? Can't make this, this is shit the same up. guy that criticized Xbox for buying studios. Why buy right. Ninja Theory? Why buy Double Fine? To make their first party lineups better, dick face. Now you up here saying less is more? That's it. But that's, that's in stark on, contrast. Man. That's in stark contrast to what he said like a, uh, what a couple months ago where he was asking PlayStation, what the hell are they doing? Where are the games? Yes, and now which he Copian's, absolutely did. He changed yeah, his tune. Yeah, he did what? that. He completely and now changed he's like, his tune. Oh, it's okay. What has happened? What? You've got the idea of you've got a hard on for the PS5 Pro that you're like, we can wait. We can wait. Honestly. Um, Colin's just one of those people. He's real smug, and you just want to walk up to him and just that's, punch him in the face. Yeah. That's my issue. I, I've had some people that I love and respect that that are, are gonna do some 
got, are going to team up with Colin on some certain things. And they asked me why I did not like Colin so much. Like, what was my beef with them? And smug was my word. Hypocrisy. I said, yep. yeah. Yeah, he's hypocritical to to his platform. This is why I fuck with Xbox guys because we tell the truth. When the shit truth, was man. crap in 2022, I gave Xbox all kinds no, of fire. No, I was like, why aren't why aren't you at least like helping about Game Pass, like money hat yeah. shit? Make it look better for the for you and for gamers. They didn't do that, and, and we gave them crap for it. Uh, it looks, I can't, it I can't stand this. Time. E- even the fact we just gave them about porting games to PlayStation, you know, even though it was just smaller games sure. and live service games, it's like the entire community spoke out loud, myself included, <laughs> man. You, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like we Absolutely. speak out when things is wrong. They don't, and that's my problem. It's not just him. I feel like that entire fan base over there is just smug, man. I don't know. There's if it's- very few. There's very few people that I trust on the on the PlayStation side. Yeah. And yeah. When when people can speak the truth and and not you know out the sides of their mouth, that that's when I that's when I that's when I'm down with you. Yeah. But man, there's just not enough of you out there that are PlayStation guys who do no. that. Well, you Sorry. want to be honest. Like 2022. PlayStation's 2022 was going to be awful if they didn't delay half their games to 2022. Yeah. Yep. We have played games for 2021. We would have been looking at a dry 2022 for both platforms, but they delayed the games. Those games were never coming out in 2021 anyway, mm-hmm. but um, it was a way of getting people to buy their console and then we'll, we'll just wait a little bit longer for them. But yeah, 2022 would have been awful if they had actually released in 2021. And, and this yep. is why I'm so happy to be on this podcast because it's like you guys will see as the years go on when, when Xbox fuck up, you best believe we're going to call that shit out. Yeah. Every time. Out of the love and passion for the brand. Like, I I don't invest hundreds and thousands of dollars into a brand to just sit back and be quiet when I feel they do something that I don't deem is right as a consumer. That's that's right there is just fucking mental illness, bro. You know, you invest thousands of dollars and you see them do something you don't agree with, but you just say, you know, for the sake of me loving this brand, I'm going to let it slide. That's idiotic, man. It's dumb as shit. Absolutely, no. It makes no sense, man. It's like, and, um, the panda that said something. I I believe PlayStation 100 knew they were going to be dry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why they invested in so many third party exclusives. Yes, hundred percent. From Death Loop to Ghostwire Tokyo, they tried to get Starfield. People, t- yes, they did. People seem to forget about that. They tried to get Starfield. Um, yes, sir. Stellar Chiefs, Rise of Ronin, <laughs> Foam Stars. They knew they were going. Their first party was going to be dry. They got yep. Death Loop, yeah. Yeah. But yep. look, the only like all the all the Final Fantasy games, they knew it. But if you think about it, the only third party exclusive that was successful, I guess mildly successful, was Final Fantasy 16 and um mm. Final Fantasy 7. Rebirth, I guess. I, I guess that's successful. Right I guess now. It's, question it's not looking mark. like it's successful. <laughs> but I will we'll hear the digital number soon. But yeah. all the other games, Death Loop is not their type. You know, ponies ain't gonna play that shit. Yeah, no. So the they game? don't. They not play that shit. So all of the it was other Deathloop third party and, games. Um, and uh, God, what was what was the other Ghostwire one? Ghostwire Tokyo. Jesus, like, thank, Ghostwire. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I they like they secured those so. as a one year exclusive. Um, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, foam stars died immediately. Yeah. <laughs> no one was talking about foam stars. You knew. Honestly, we're, the, we're just watching it. Look, it looked like terrible. The, the yeah. fact were that putting that on their list, their 2024 banger list, dude. Home stars is right there. That's how. That's how you know. That's how. That's the difference between me and you. That's how they know you're. They're full of shit. I didn't like Death Loop. I hated that game. I thought I it was like terrible. I didn't like it. But you know, I, I, tr- I tried. I tried I to like it. Too. I couldn't do it. it I couldn't me, do it. But it it took me a few to understand it. Once I understood how. Did you how break it through? Yeah, that's my word. I'm, I'm gonna beat it before the years up. Retro, I'm gonna beat it for the both of us, and I'm gonna uh, beat it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, beat it, for it I got you. Thank you for that. Thank you for anybody on this day. panel that beat a game, technically, we all beat it. So, all right, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know, I'm saying, like, the, the difference is, is that, yeah, that we will say. When we don't like a game, we won't say that right. just because it comes from Xbox doesn't mean it's oh, that I'm going to love everything. If someone said, if you're listening to a podcast that says that, you need to get the fuck out of there, dude, because right. they're not truthful with you. They're lying right to your face. 
we won't and if do you that. Listen to like, a podcast that just agree with each other all the time. I mean, yeah, like, you, you want know. an echo chamber? Well, listen to PlayStation podcast. So a lot of people of right now saying saying death. Like I, I'm Reese. He he thought death loop was fire, and I'm happy. I, I love I, that. I, I enjoyed uh, it know? also. Yeah, so great, right? Cricket is oh, with you. So there hey, you go. Admit just got another phone. Uh, I'm sorry for spoken. I forgot about that one. Oh my god! Another third party right. exclusive. Forgot about for spoken. All right. of their third party exclusives, except for you know a couple flops. Yeah, yeah. Not a great track record, and not a not a good track record to be involved with Sony either, because those guys, because those studios are shutting down. They're dropping like flies left and right lately. Yep. I don't bit know. Squares regretting um, getting rid of IDOS and Crystal Dynamics. Yeah. I would be. I would be. I would be. Those are be super talented good, studios, yeah. man. I just I would, need Xbox I, to Herb and pick them up. 100%. Yep. Stop a bullshit. Lot. They already work on an Xbox game. Stop bullshitting and inquiring. Yep. Just take, get, before just somebody get else pick them up. Yep. Yep. Before some, some asshole like, him, like another embracer or yeah. someone from fucking Saudi Arabia decides they want to then invest right. and not fuck over the uh, entire uh, uh, gamer it's just it's just crazy to me what's what's happening with embracer but um i think i think that's it guys i think that's our show tonight uh i'll start with dirt uh tell everyone where they can find you obviously the link to your uh wbg show will be in, in the uh description brother but let everyone know where they can find you thank you guys uh thanks for the invite i'm uh i feel special to be invited to you guys first <laughs> you're the <show>. first <laughs> absolute legend man i mean you were earlier than me dirt so you know that's <laughs> thank you <laughs> Yeah. No, but thank you guys for the invite. You know, check out my channel if you guys in the chat don't know who I am. Check out my channel. I, I talk a lot of shit. I don't like PlayStation fanboys. And I have a good time. So check it out, man. Thanks yes, for inviting does. me. You bet, buddy. Thank Absolutely. You. Next Gen Nero, let everyone know where they can find you, brother. Man, my name is what it is. Next Gen Nero on all platforms, man. Um YouTube, please go shoot your boys. Subscribe. I'm at uh, 640. I'm trying to get to a thousand. Make sure y'all subscribe to this channel as well. We're creeping up on a thousand. And shout Getting out there, everybody right. in the chat, man. We went from what was we at like 940 to like 970 or 969 right now, Retro. That's that's huge for our first show, man. Uh, this is absolutely amazing, man. I'm blessed to be here, Retro. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity, Panda. Of course, it's a blessing. Like I said, dirt, absolute fucking legend, man. Keep your foot on them ponies next, man. Uh, like I say, man, I review games and shit like that because I'm trying to combat this bias-ass media. All this Xbox <laughs> tax, all this gloom and doom. Listen, if you if a game come out and you want an honest review, hit me up, man. Hit me up. That's true. If you want to sponsor a review, any game I get gifted, I always review and shout people out, man. I'm not one of those guys that just take games for my own pleasure. The biggest thank you I can give to anybody giving me a game is me going to sit down, write a script for it, review it, edit, and post, man. So I'm trying yeah. to combat this biased media, man. Fuck IGN. Absolutely. What the best best way to end <laughs> your little thing right there, Nero? <laughs> Fuck IGN. Love it. Oh, man. Uh, Red Dead Panda, let everyone know where they can find you. <laughs> You can find me on the set of Lord of... No, I'm kidding. Um, I wish. The set of Lord of the Rings? No. No. Um, you can find me on Xbox Live, on Twitter, or X, um, Red Dead Panda, um, basically for everything. And I do have a YouTube channel, and I'm actually going to start putting reviews up and such. So one of the first games I'm going to be reviewing is Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah, so nice. Do look we out need for that. that. Yeah, hey, the chat yes. going crazy right now. Let me get an FIGN from everybody. Yeah, like the show. We love the show, man. Let me get an FIGN, man. Yeah. <laughs> then that starts trending on Twitter later. <laughs> right, exactly. Yo, make it happen, Captain. Um, yeah. But I just want to say thank you, Dirt, uh, for showing up on our first first show and really appreciate 100%. Appreciate you being here. Um, Nero, I'm so glad that we have you on here as a panel member and mm -hmm. Retri. Yeah. There's not much more I can say other than get good at Halo. Um, <laughs> I knew she'd go on there. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, Panda. <laughs> but the new update launches next week for the uh, yes. network, so hopefully we notice a massive difference. Um, yeah. yeah. But thank you, and um, shout out to everyone in the chat who joined us for episode one of the yeah. ADS um, podcast. Really appreciate you being here. <laughs> Yo, I love this chat, man. Yo, I'm, I just yeah, got to double chat. back to this, man. Yo, chat. Give y'all a fire. pat on the back, man. Y'all killed it, bro. Like, for yep. this week, <laughs> the first episode, man, y'all killed it, man. I see all the FIGNs. I love y'all, man, for sure. 
Y'all are legends. And, and this is what this is what I wanted, man. This is this is the uh, this is the energy that we want to bring day, you know, every single week here on the Aim Down Sites podcast. So expect more of this. We're gonna have more great guests, just like Dirk Griggity. Uh, I I knew I I always had Dirk first it, uh, when I wanted to do this because he's spicy and I like spicy and you know fuck IGN and, and Dirt's down yeah. for all that shit yeah. and fuck the ponies. But, uh, yeah. Is that gonna be our new thing? Yeah. As soon as we get on the show, just fuck IGN. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. I mean, uh, I'm okay with that. You know, we'll get I'm t-shirts okay. merch made <laughs> yeah um, by the way someone was asking me about super chats and stuff we have to get past the uh hours watched uh so we are gonna obviously we're gonna hit a thousand subscribers that's not gonna be a problem for us i know it uh we're gonna keep doing this but we just get to get our hours watched up and we will be doing super chats we'll be doing memberships there'll be extra perks and stuff like that for you guys coming in the future don't worry about that is coming merch merch is 100% coming, and I got some awesome uh, shirts and mugs and all that bullshit uh, for you guys to grab onto. That will be coming sooner than later, uh, so stay tuned for that. Fign um, coffee mugs coming. As well. Fign, I might get sued, but I'm probably gonna, I'll probably like <laughs> work it in there somehow, so you can like, it'll be like subliminal message. No, we're not shit. saying we're saying yeah. fuck ignorant gaming nerds. That's who exactly. we're talking about. You know? <laughs> well, you guys can find me uh, Game Pass <laughs> underscore daily on Twitter, Game Pass daily right here where you guys are right now please uh hit the like and subscribe button on the way out if you're a brand new here we'll be here every saturday at 7 p.m and of course you can also find me tomorrow on the gamers council with web dave on his channel at 7 p.m also we always have a good time there we talk a lot of shit there too uh so but uh i love you guys chat you guys were super on fire tonight thank you guys for coming out i think we had over 100 people uh for our first show and that is no small feat that's a big fucking deal um, for us that are brand new into this thing so appreciate you and we'll see you guys next time on the aim down sites podcast peace